These two grown men had never seen The Simpsons How the fuck's that even happened The two grown men on a mission now So buckle up and just strap in Cause the play is gonna play, 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 play. And the haters gonna hate, 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 hate it Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake Shake it off, shake it off These two grown men had never seen The Simpsons It's America's Barley Basket Welcome to episode 182 of America's Barley Basket. My name is Nathan Volsebuck. Sitting next to me... <laughs> physically. is Marlon Wells. Hello, Nathan. Uh, hello, Marlon. That was unnerving. Yeah, I'm kind of gassed what from it. What is that sound? That's not good. I shouldn't inhale that Jesus one. Jesus Christ, that and was an inhale? I'm inhaling like I'm a 23-year-old. That, that was the inhales of a college sophomore. That sounded like an exhale. Yeah, that sounded no. like when you... Dig up a corpse that you thought was a vampire yeah. and you stick them, and they just <laughs> just the remaining death rattle dust yeah, coming out. You know, yeah. that's what my inhale sound like now. Oh boy, yeah, it's troublesome. It is. Doctors are worried. Head to a doc. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get you to a veterinarian, yeah, my friend. Someone should check me out. Yowza! I am in a state of disrepair. You just need, your whole body needs lanced. I need to. I need an alignment. <laughs> I don't need someone to get you up on the rack. I need someone to straddle me, grab both butt cheeks, and push forward as hard as they can. <laughs> Ask to me at the same time, but you'll goof it up even more. This isn't for me sexually. I need just a realignment. Yep. I tie my ankles to a wall, press against my butt cheek, pull my arms maybe. <laughs> One very stout <laughs> Eastern European woman pushing on my butt and a very stout Eastern European pulling on both of my arms at once. Jesus, just torture racking yep. you? Yeah, I need it. Need? I wish there was another way. <laughs> we're, we're past simple cures. You need an Olga. Yeah. You need a couple of Olgas. I, mixing in a chicken Caesar salad ain't going to fix it now. This... <laughs> throw, throw you in a Mexican surfboard and oh, then hit you with a boy. 450 splash. Meet That's and... what you need. <laughs> meeting, meeting the person that Ring could the put me on. Yeah, no doubt. I haven't had that in a while. <laughs> Mexican surfboard might be what would be the cure for what ails me. Ooh. Or it'll put me in the hospital for good. <laughs> Which me. you're headed there the way yeah. you are. So <laughs> How'd you end up in hospice so at such a young age? Well, I paid a woman to put me in a Mexican surfboard. <laughs> 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 but to be fair, all that spinal <laughs> trauma really only beat the clock by two yeah, years. Yeah, now, right. So. Yeah, we just got here a little faster. It's fine. It's pudding day. Yeah. <laughs> Num nums. <laughs> 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 you reach for a snack pack of pudding. You're at the grocery store. Daddy wants pudding. God. What kind of pudding you getting? And let's say, for the sake of the talk, that uh, a variety pack is off the table. You got to buy one See, flavor of pudding. That's probably what I would go with this variety pack. But if we're just going basic B, let's say vanilla, chocolate, and butterscotch. And tapioca, I would tapioca. put in there too. I might just go vanilla. Yeah? Vanilla pudding is one of the few vanilla flavored things I really like. Mm. There's a few a few coffees. I like a couple vanilla coffee drinks. But sure. ice cream, I'm usually always leaning chocolate. Yeah. I don't reach for vanilla very often with hardly anything. For me, with with uh, with a, a, a snack pack, if I'm getting puddinged up, I'm, uh, I'm reaching for a tapioca every time. Okay. I, I like tapioca. I, I, I ain't going to turn any of them away. Which is just vanilla pudding with fucking... So- Anal beads in yeah, it. Yeah, butt nuts. Sounding beads. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Watching the guy that's running his tapioca through a strainer to save the beads. I put them in my peener. I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> I'm going to go to a different Love's truck stop from now on. <laughs> I, I, I drop him into a funnel and then tamp it with a swizzle stick. Oh, watching someone <laughs> in a truck stop excitedly running like they're panning for gold and then rushing into the men's room with, the, <laughs> with their sluice box. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mother load. <laughs> <laughs> They're clicking their heels. <laughs> Sweet sassy molassy. I'm gonna blow up my pecker hole tonight. <laughs> <laughs> There's beads in this here tool. 
throws down his big floppy <laughs> hat and yeah. does a dance. <laughs> Just has a funnel. He's pouring him into a, like a fireplace bellows. <laughs> That's how he gets them in, huh? Oh, what a, holy moly. A lot of moving parts to this. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 45 empty tapioca containers all over the map. <laughs> On the dash of his truck. <laughs> oh, you quick look at your watch. It's 8.45 a.m. <laughs> They live on a different clock than the rest of us. <laughs> Comes out of that truck stop with two breakfast burritos and a pecker full of beads. <laughs> Holy sh! And sometime eight hours down the road, some poor soul gets to hear him blow those things out at a urinal. <laughs> Somebody dump a bunch of aquarium gravel yeah. into the urinal next to me? <laughs> Pants to the ground, underwear to the ground, <laughs> hands gripping the pipe out of the top of the <laughs> urinal. For all he's worth. <laughs> like he's in a gale force wind, yeah. Uh, just fighting for his life. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Call that flying jade caviar. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Seeing a urinal full of that. Like, what could that be? What happened? They're like a little bumps and like a face wash. Like, you're, you're, not gonna, those. You're, you're not You're not going to guess what it was. <laughs> they ever outlaw those, the bumpy things and the microplastics there you go, that the, were in like a like the grit in your body wash? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I remember them talking about doing know, that a while back. I think it was... Besides the fact that just it's more plastic in the world, I think what it was is it was fucking up big city sewer systems. Oh, really? And those things would like be a mountain of them blocking one of the main lines. Japers. That's weird to think of, but you got 10,000 people using that same shit. You know, a fucking tenth of a teaspoon of those fucking adds up after a while. I suppose, and there's fucking, what, 10,000 of them in every handful of yeah, your body wash. Yeah. We got to go back to pumice. Yeah. That's why that's yeah. why the world is the way it is. We got away from pumice. <laughs> we quit pumicing our kids. Yeah, we quit pumicing them. Oh, boy, I used to look forward to some Gojo when I was a kid. Like, Fuck yeah, it was, it was a good grit shit. In there. Give me like, soap with dirt in it. Yeah. That's what I want. You want to yeah, you want to make your kids be clean. Make the soap hurt a little. Yeah. It gets your attention. Like, lava. Give yeah. me a oh. bar of fucking lava. Lava or Gojo. Gojo had some grit. Not as yeah. much as lava. Lava, yeah. yeah. Lava, that was the thing, because pumice is volcanic rock. I so. used to have a job that was so dirty. I had to have the brick of lava. Nice. It's weird to see it in the block form instead of just the pump. Yeah. we or, always That was always the... The hand soap on the bathroom sink was a bar of lava when oh, I was really? a kid. Yeah. No shit. Because you grew up on the farm, you were dirty when you fucking came yeah. back in. You needed good soap. We had yeah. like maybe a big pump handle thing, a gojo that somebody gave my dad for Christmas once out yeah. in the shop. But yeah. I think that I think we always use gojo because that's what was at the shop. We weren't right. paying for it. That's I think that's I'm sure you're buying seventy five rolls of industrial paper towels. You get two five gallon tubs of gojo yeah. too yeah or you get real gucci you get the gojo towels i had a buddy when he was on the farm as a little kid getting a real good lather with the lava it came back and got him in the eye they had to oh. bring him to the fucking hospital yeah you got fucking rocks because every eye. time he blinked it was scraping uh -huh. his eye just so like, cutting it up yeah like because like he was crying and screaming like, oh, maybe a little too old to be crying that when the mom's like you just got soap in your eyes i think it was the dad that had done it's like Oh no! Were you like in outside? Like, mm -hmm. you're, like, you're like, oh shit! We better bring him in. Yeah, like, yeah. Pumice in your eye. Yeah. Oh, you're making shit. a pearl, boy. Yeah. God, I had an uncle that got. He was fucking using a fucking uh, angle iron grinder and fucking uh, got hot. I got just a little shard of yeah. fucking metal like right in his fucking. You know they pulled it out. Magnet. There's oh, just sure. just a heavy duty magnet laying in the bottom of a cupboard in the emergency yeah. room. Like, Let's try this, and he said, "Sure as shit." And he's like, "That eye was tender for a couple of days, but fucking two days later, I was good as gold." Like, it's so insane because you hear that, like, like that you know, uh, uh, getting something in your eye is like in the grand scheme of things, no big deal. Yeah. Like, oh, you go to an eye wash station and rinse it out, or you go to the hospital get it picked out, but like. At the end of the day, it's no big deal. But why sitting here now, that sounds like 
a torture yeah. that would lead me to take my own life. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> like if I were using an angle grinder and got a little in my eye, I might just be like, well, this is it. Yeah, I mean, this is, is this to, a life worth living now? Yeah, just jump off an overpass. <laughs> Drive to an overpass. Ow, 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 ow. Cave in the hood of a Miata. (laughs) 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 I've had some real pussy willow jobs the last 20 odd years of my life. I don't think one of them has had an eyewash station. (laughs) Yeah, is that how you're judging your life? Like, ah, man, I'm getting soft. I ain't seen an eyewash station. You know, though, I've only had to use it once. Hope I never have to again. I never had to. Yeah. By God, it worked. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's like I would assume so. Covered in a layer of dust. It's like, how often are they checking these things? <laughs> <laughs> or the, what's the step up from that? The fucking pull the chain shower station? Yeah, wash the poisons off you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we for sure had an eyewash station in our shop class at school. We might have had one of them fucking shower things, too, if I'm not mistaken. God, maybe we did too. When you're just so busy playing fucking grab ass and horsing around, who I'm sure they were all pointed out to us, and not one of us remembered. F- right, fucking 15 seconds after it was said. Yeah, grab ass takes up a lot of mental real estate. Yeah, and especially know. in shop class. We had a kid light himself on fire in shop class for fun. No, oh. no, it was a, it wasn't a work. It yeah. was a shoot. <laughs> It was a fucking shoot he fire. He didn't Eddie Gilbert himself. He no. didn't have flash paper, whatever no, they call he, it. Nope, he didn't have. <laughs> he was going for cheap heat. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't gimmick himself. It was <laughs> it was the hard way. <laughs> welding, I assume. Yeah, he was in the fucking welding booth, stick welding. Yeah. You know, we didn't have wire welders. Yeah. Everybody had a stick welder. He was in his fucking booth, and the looking back... There should have been a fucking lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> the school, not going to pay out money for the grease, for the welding grease, the good lube that you use to, to lube everything up. So instead, they bought fucking off-brand cooking spray, like off-brand Pam for lubing shit up in there. And so he's fucking welding along, and that can is just sitting on the welding booth. A spray can of fucking fake butter just on the fucking welding booth, as they were in every welding booth. Uh. And he's just welding away and, like, finished his weld and moved his arm off to the side like this, and the hot end of his fucking uh, uh, welding rod touched that can, and it just flamethrowered him right in the fucking face. No he comes sh- barreling out of that fucking Fuck welding booth, me. all on fire. Helmet up? No, helmet he down. still had his helmet down. Right, good for him. Yeah, that could have been bad. He come flying out of there, and fucking teacher grabbed him and threw him to the ground, so, and put the boots to him to get the fire out. Let's get back to this welding grease. So you dip. It's the, for sure a thing with wire welding because your wire welding tip needs a little grease because it'll get gummed up sometimes. Huh. It's like a. Think of like a like a, a big puck of hair pomade. Okay. Except it's a grease essentially, and you just dip your tip in there, and that way your your wire feed but, isn't gumming yeah. up. How about what? But stick welding. It's Why a, it was in there for the fucking stick welding? I couldn't tell you. Oh, okay. Unless it was meant to just be some manner of all purpose grease. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you just you know you you feel a little chafy that day. Yeah. Just, and just put a dollop down below. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dollop down below. I bet that was the catchphrase for some kind of body oil in the 40s. <laughs> back when they legit sold bear grease. Yeah, back when they couldn't say what the product yeah. was. You just need a dollop down below. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Gee, thanks, mister. <laughs> but yeah, man, that kid was on fire. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. That's what, yeah. <laughs> like, and were you all in stalls or was he off working on his own? He was in a stall. There was a row of like six stalls. And most of them were filled with people doing their own thing. I forget what I was doing. Yeah. Not not anything, probably. <laughs> Sitting on the fucking couch, sneaking fucking FFA candy out of the fucking <laughs> vending machine. <laughs> yeah, God, boy, that boy was yeah. on fire. 
So we had a fight. Uh, Damien, a podcast fame, started himself on fire. Been a while or, since Damien, a podcast <laughs> fame, came up. Or was perhaps started on fire by someone else. You oh. never know. There's, there's sure. chunks of shit fly. We're, we're all welding 10 inches away from each other. We're all in like little pig troughs. <laughs> like stadium seats. Yeah, exactly. It's like looking back at that. <laughs> elbow to elbow. And someone just, a buddy of mine elbowed me and pointed. I look, it just his sides on fire. He isn't aware. You know, you're wearing layers when you're welding. Sure, you know? yeah. And, and I remember he's just like, he looks back and finally somebody like hits him. He's like, oh, I'm... On fire. <laughs> Handled it very well. Kept a cool head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't want to get your balls busted for reacting animatedly to a being on fire. Yeah, you don't want your buddies to tease you. <laughs> that fucking guy flips the shit when he fucking gets on fire and shit. Oh, he's shit. just on fire a little well, bit. You've never been on fire before. Look at him hollering, you fucking puss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I would have fucking been. <laughs> oh, shop class. Yep. Speaking of going back to like products that you can't really like talk about what you're talking about from times times gone. Yeah. I don't know what I've been doing on this phone. Oh boy. <laughs> but I have been getting Looney Tunes targeted ads. <laughs> like all manner of sex toy, which whatever, Terrific. you know, fucking run of the mill yawn yeah. oh, sex toy ads. Who cares? I have been targeted. I see ads, different ads for the same product six times a day advertising waterproof blankets. <laughs> Terrific. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's not marketed as like, oh, in case you spill some broth. Yeah. It is. These are saucy ads yeah. <laughs> for waterproof blankets. I'm like, how the fuck did I get here? What is happening? <laughs> Your Google search history is just piss, piss boy, piss slut. <laughs> Piss on me, mommy. <laughs> no, I keep Googling broth in bed, you know, hoping for a solution to all the broth I I'm spilling. I want a family-friendly <laughs> rubber bed spread. <laughs> Doesn't have to be so salacious. <laughs> My oh. nephew's going to sleep in this bed. God damn it. This, <laughs> this fucking... is the spare bedroom. <laughs> the boy loves broth. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> and they're beyond suggestive ads. Yep. They are they are completely overt. Oh boy. That's Jesus Christ, you piss in bed with rubber sheets? <laughs> Is that worse? I want a mattress cover, but I want a sheet to absorb it. Jesus Christ, not just about piss in the bed and getting out. That's a tidal wave of piss hitting you when that mattress recoils. Like, holy fuck. I don't even think it's targeted at piss. I think it's targeted at, at love solutions, yeah. uh, I think, is what we're dealing okay, with here. There we go. That's fair. Which, whatever, yeah. I bet it works with piss, too. Too, but Man. they sure haven't added that bullet point to any of the ads I've seen. You or a loved one <laughs> the look does a eyes. full piss uh, <laughs> on a comforter. Can that comforter be saved? That got to be chucked. Apparently this product, uh, that's what it's made for. Holy fuck, a piss so comforter <laughs> that's hard to wrap your just put it in the wash take it out again is it ever truly clean no. in your heart you can't clean your mind yeah <laughs> holy fuck witnessing that <laughs> uh, heavy to carry comforter <laughs> it's so sopping with piss <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Sopping with pants. Yeah, that's definitely Jesus. been typed into Pornhub. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. That's got its own page. <laughs> that's its own subgenre. Yeah, that autofills. You start <laughs> typing it, that'll autofill. S O P. Sopping with boom. Pants. There it is. <laughs> See if there's any new ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever reached that level of watching too much pornography where you start recognizing videos where you're like, oh yeah, this is a good one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Been a minute. I'm I'm not off porn by no reason. It's just naturally happened. I didn't have like a fucking 48 hour crank fest and all of a sudden I went fucking, my vision went black and white. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the equivalent of your dad making you yeah. smoke the whole pack. <laughs> <laughs> the great Labor Day weekend stroke off. 
hair went white. <laughs> I just noticed. I just noticed a Reese. I kind of looked at porn in a long time. I, I went through one of those spells earlier this year where it was like, oh yeah, I remember porn. Yeah, now you're back. <laughs> now I'm back. Now I'm back in the game. <laughs> Got to buy one of these blankets. Apparently, eight a.m. to two p.m. is marked off on my Calendly account. <laughs> <laughs> had to move back a dentist appointment because it interfered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I totally know what you're talking about. Like, okay, look at this. It's like a rerun. Like, hey, oh, I remember this yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would get me back into porn? That's a good sentence. Oh, yeah, what would it if take? If they had a huge selection of all of just random Cinemax porn, a good nostalgia crank would be such a delightful thing. A nostalgic teenage yeah. Cinemax free yep. weekend softcore yep. wank. Exactly. Sure. God, the kinder, gentler time. <laughs> You didn't need to watch a fucking person getting shot out of a cannon into someone else. Like, <laughs> weren't so desensitized. I just missed the days where getting off didn't involve watching somebody getting put into a yeah, trebuchet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get shot inside a cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, they're loading the cow into the trebuchet. <laughs> there was a time where this didn't involve so many siege engines. <laughs> they're going to turducken this poor man. <laughs> the, the line it up, a white ride, was hindquarters. <laughs> Those things are extinct, you animals. <laughs> Somebody's got to do too much math yeah. just for this. I think this is what somebody wanted to do with their engineering degree. That cow was clearly dead. I don't know if the guy's alive. <laughs> I just want one of them to walk away from this. <laughs> Boy, I just want someone to walk away from this is really something to say about the pornography you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're checking the comments for proof of life. <laughs> Tell me they returned that rhino to the zoo. <laughs> I, I guess if somebody dies during it, you got the footage, you have to use it. It's yeah. the fucking yeah. John, it's the John Landis helicopter <laughs> crash of <Yeah>. pornography. <laughs> Yeah. Why let those guys' life's work go to waste? Yeah, he would have wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> he would have wanted people to see this. <laughs> Getting fired out of a ballista. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I know too many siege engines. That's guys fully naked, greased up, tied by the ankles, laying on the ground, giving a big thumbs up. <laughs> that cow is only 20 feet away. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> that trebuchet just launches it straight forward into a cow. <laughs> Cow's knees buckle, but it doesn't even drop. <laughs> oh. <Phew. sighs> Explaining all of this to the Ren Fair you're borrowing these <laughs> trebuchets from. <laughs> <laughs> we lent you that under the understanding <laughs> that it was for educational purposes. Well, we learned something. <laughs> <laughs> we learned what the human body can't take. <laughs> Holy shit, that guy wakes up. <laughs> Wait, what are they doing? <laughs> they must be helping me out of this cow. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I hear forklift running. That's going to be surely a good sign. <laughs> Uh, it's like that John Oliver story that he just did last week about people mis misusing bodies donated to science. That's how those Ren Faire people feel about your their borrowed trebuchet. This is not what we said it was going to be for. This is done in good faith. God damn it. You said this was going to be good and would no, help people. This is not good at all. Instead, you're firing Gerald into a cow. <laughs> Is Gerald excited? Sure, but Gerald's <laughs> troubled. This is not what we wanted for our trebuchet. <laughs> this is not what the French had in mind when they designed it. 
just hearing a muffled cowabunga before that rope is cut and that cow shoots into that rhino. <laughs> Holy moly, that guy was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun oh. we were supposed to tell comedy jokes tonight but then the weather happened because nope. it's north dakota and it's december yeah while one part of the state's basking 40 degrees there's a nightmare storm just Three hours north of us. I wore basketball shorts to the gas station. Look today. at the, uh, the hubris. Yeah. Uh, spitting in the eye of God. Meanwhile, three hours on the other side of the state, they're all yeah. fucking battening down the hatches. There's kids in a junior high basketball van decide who's going to get eaten if this book van <laughs> doesn't get discovered. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ever have that thought on any of these comedy trips who gets eaten yeah. first it can't be you because it's yeah. your you know you're kind of the boss of the operation yeah. <laughs> the captain can't go first yep. yeah captain can I'm captain that, has to go down with the ship i gotta face the first. media <laughs> yeah <laughs> there were so many snacks in the car why did you resort to cannibalism <laughs> you guys went straight to cannibalism <laughs> All these uneaten <laughs> gummy rings. You guys got so many Rolos in here, but instead you ate the opening act. <laughs> the center console's full of Rolos. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, do I love a Rolo. Yeah, Rolo's a good treat. Oh, Rolo is a good treat. <laughs> I haven't had any bonkers candy. You I truly been... the bonkers brand of candy? Wait, is that a real candy oh, brand? Oh, bonkers, they... Bonkers, one of those candies they pushed the shit out of for for a good chunk of the 80s. Then all of a sudden woke up one day, they were gone. Bonkers were like a fruit in the, shaped like a chunk of Hubba Bubba or Bubblicious gum, but sure. it's not gum. It was candy. Like a Starburst? A Starburst, but bigger and softer. Okay. And like the, in the ads, it was always like, like bonkers is bar ridiculous. It's like, oh, can I have some bonkers? And like a bunch of giant stuffed grapes would crush someone like, oh, I want strawberry. And then a bunch of giant, uh, this sure. is crazy. We're so crazy. We're candy and we're crazy. Love to have one again. They'll tell you that. I don't remember Forbidden those at all. Fruit. I love to enjoy them. <laughs> so, you know what? I bet you buy them on eBay. They taste shockingly the same as they did 35 years ago. Yeah, probably. Not one. Well, those six slits give me pause. Fucking A, those six slits. Those are some depressing six slits. Ugh, betrayal. The curiosity, though. When were they produced? Yeah. 1971. I'd love to my know. Guess. I'd love to know. What year did Kiss Alive come yeah. out? <laughs> Man, how are you handling Kiss claiming to be truly done? I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when either Gene or Paul shake this mortal coin. Yeah, yeah. Then I'll believe that Kiss is done. <laughs> be wild if they stuck to their guns. It would be, yeah. but I feel like they've been on the farewell tour for 15 yeah. fucking years now. So well, Did you see they introduced like their digital avatars on stage? Oh, good. Yeah. They're that's... going to do Tupac. They're yep. going to do hologram Tupac. That's what makes me out. think maybe they are done because now they're pushing this like if, this is the future of rock and roll. No, it's not. I would absolutely <laughs> go see hologram kiss. Yeah, would... Price is right. God. Especially yeah. because... It's not just going to be four hologram men up there. Like, imagine the Looney Tunes bullshit yeah, they're going to do yeah. with that technology. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's going to be. It would be. It, yeah. It'll probably. He's going to turn into a dragon yeah. and fucking eat the crowd and yeah. shit. It's going to be nuts. I hope Peter, Chris, and Ace Freely are just slightly smaller than the other two and they never get to do anything. Yeah. They just play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Ace Freely, it's like four foot ten. <laughs> Gene's doing the vocals for yeah, Beth. It sounds yeah. terrible. Ace is in a chair the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> He's way fatter than he is in real life. <laughs> Ace was always better than that band is. Like, Ace was one of the... He was one of those examples, much like Mark Tremonti in Creed, where it's he, like, he, you're too talented he, for this band. He deserved a better lot in life. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least Mark Tremonti, I think, has had a lot of creative control with Creed. Yeah, that's true. Which I think Ace always get his ideas shot down. And know? Tremonti went and did his own thing, too, when yeah. Creed ended. So, yeah. And Ace Fraley kind of did that, too. He did Ace Fraley's Comet. Fraley's Comet. Fraley's Comet, that yeah. Was? yeah. He might have had another iteration of a solo 
project too. And at the end of the day, he was in fucking Kiss. He's yeah. got to be one of the richest rock stars there is. Yeah, yeah. For a guy that had was fucked out of everything, I'm sure he still accumulated something. I'm sure he did just fucking fine. Yeah. 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 This is for the to hell with segues. Uh, where do you stand on cauliflower being suddenly the replacement for things? Cauliflower mashed potatoes, cauliflower rice, cauliflower pizza crust. Where are you at? I've I've had it done good enough at times that I'm for it. Yeah, I mean I ain't. If I'm eating like a trash goblin. I'm not gonna lean cat. I'm not gonna lean fucking cauliflower because I'm not a fucking loser. <laughs> I'm fucking cool. <laughs> but if I'm trying to be a health nut, but boy, I'm skeptical. Last night I tried. So I had bought a bunch of it when I was at the grocery store last. I I ate <laughs> I, I ate whole family size, which <laughs> I don't feel bad because that whole family size was like 300 calories. Yeah. I ate an entire family size of fake mashed potatoes, cauliflower. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. But... I had never had mashed potato cauliflower before, and people fucking talk it up too much. Really? Like, you'll, you'll never know the difference. Yeah, yeah you, you, fucking will. Will. you fucking will. You know why? Because it tastes like cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> you can't disguise it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I put salt and pepper and hot sauce in that motherfucker, and it was fine. Yeah. It was perfectly edible. I ate the whole fucking thing, yeah. so it couldn't have been too bad. <laughs> but pump the fucking brakes yeah. on this like no it's just as yeah. good <laughs> no it's not if you want potatoes get potatoes i had a friend buddy of mine's wife made like fake chicken wings out of cauliflower god damn they weren't pretty t- i mean clearly not chicken wings i could see that like, it was i mean to her credit she did as good of a job as you could were Put they a- like were they like processed and then formed or did she just like make cauliflower no i feel like they were ma- they were just cauliflower maybe like they were recognizable as cauliflower yeah and like cut in half like the head of it sure. so it wasn't like a ball so it had a flat side yeah exactly okay. exactly because i was trying to think wait a second how did that work but yeah and just the seasoning was right but like yeah it was still fucking cauliflower still no? tastes like cauliflower yep. like to be fair, cauliflower is a pretty mild flavor, and it'll yeah. it'll like absorb what you put in it. Yeah, but yeah, fuck, I'll fucks with cauliflower, but surely it doesn't match the original. People are lying to themselves. Yeah, and these were like like these potatoes were like garlic and cheddar and bacon flavored, and it's like okay, like this ain't this ain't mashed potatoes, but it's yeah. but it'll do. Like I feel better about eating that yeah, than, than eating all that than all, f- that that much mashed potatoes. Than a fa- says it feeds a family of twelve. Oh <laughs> no! I think on the back of the package that thing said four and a half servings. <laughs> I ate that in twelve minutes watching Family Guy last night for, for Christmas celebrations. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> community sized. <laughs> <laughs> bicentennial celebration <laughs> 75 surveys <laughs> holy shit <laughs> 17 and a half gallons of mashed potatoes uh, certainly has to be wrong <laughs> this can't be right you see all the empty plates around your living room and kitchen oh dear god <laughs> oh no no oh what have i done I entered a tater fugue state <laughs> i <don't> recall the <laughs> tater violence i've committed <laughs> one thing i will i will preach the like oh the healthy version of that i'm into is uh uh like chickpea or red lentil pasta I don't know if you've gotten if you've fallen down uh, that road like the I bonza pasta. Yeah, like, uh, oh, it's made from chickpea instead or squash. of squash. I haven't had a squash one. I've Is had that... I've had chickpea and I've had red lentil. Okay, both of those. I'll fuck with or that. zucchini noodles. Yeah, I've had zoodles. Yeah, I hate there. that word so much. Yeah, it's but fun. We're having fun. I like fun. We're having fun boys. I like smooshing words, but yeah. that's not one that I can get behind. <laughs> Yeah, I've had them once. It's like, boy, you can tell these aren't noodles, but you know, <laughs> we're we're entertainers. We have to watch our figures. Yeah, we got to yeah. keep these money makers tight. Yeah, these packages never been tighter. Never been more hidden. These we have a child and a small four wheeler hooked to the back of our corsets. <laughs> 
they're tightened so much before the show. Holy fuck. Put it in four low eye haulers. We... <laughs> Several men with ratchet straps. Oh, God. A fucking, I bet a corset would put you or I in the hospital. Yeah. God, we would look ridiculous. God, these whale bones are digging in me so deep. <laughs> Yeah, that you would have to do it, take the picture, and cut all the straps because that's pushing organs where they shouldn't be. Like, <laughs> Boy, those straps would ping. Yeah, ping, <laughs> yeah. Ping. <laughs> Flick it with your finger; they would snap. <laughs> Biscuits busted yeah. out of the tube. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, Marlon. Hey, Nathan. You know who's never purchased rubber sheets to be used in uh, perverse sexual acts? <laughs> who's that, Nathan? The Simpsons. Are we 100% sure? Yeah, I think we nailed that one. Yeah, I think we did, too. <laughs> Good work, buddy. <laughs> We're talking Simpsons. We're in season 34, barreling towards the end of it. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be too long before we're fresh out of fucking Simpsons again. Uh, this is episode 17 of season 34, episode 745, if you're keeping track cumulatively. <laughs> this one is Pin Gal. Fun. I knew that this episode was coming because I saw, like, when it aired last year, I saw some some scuttlebutt on Twitter of people Ooh. talking about this episode. Can't wait to hear about the scuttlebutt. Uh, it's called Pin Gal. We're at the bowling alley. Bowling alley is going to close, which is very sad. Yeah. Um, Bar- Barney's Bolarama. Did we ever figure out if that's Barney? Yeah. Does Barney own the Bolarama? That can't be right, right? I would assume we'd have addressed it yeah. by now. Got to be some different Barney in town. Uh, the pin pals are all lamenting the closing of their beloved bowling alley. Uh, I love the visual of them drinking out of that bowling ball like it's a fucking big fish bowl party yeah, drink at yeah. the bar. Oh, sick. Oh, drinking out yeah. of it. You know how fucking sick you'd get drinking and, out of a bowling ball. Oh, I'm not a big bowler, but I love the vibe of a bowling alley. Yes, yep. I'm big on the vibe. They're always retro. They always yeah. have a weird... Fucking the furniture's weird. Everything's always weird. I love seeing a chair or a table with a built-in ashtray. Yeah, yeah. I love that yeah. remnant. Yeah. I, I've, I, it's been long enough since I've went bowling. Like, I went bowling one night this summer. And, like, it's been long enough. I got By yourself? I, what? By yourself? No, not by myself. That's a bold move. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. I should go lonely bowling. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a fun, that'd be a fun <laughs> Wednesday afternoon activity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping score, all excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, like get a strike and clap and turn, doing the turn back and there's nobody. Just, oh, just me and this weird carpet. Yeah. Don't like that. Just the glass up above, the woman running the pig wheel staring down at you. She's already bummed. <laughs> that's, I wonder if that's a... That, like that's for sure a thing here in Fargo at the place where you go bowling. There's a couple, but the mm-hmm. main one that you yep. go to, the fucking the bar's in a crow's nest that overlooks the fucking bowling alley. Yeah, it's I a, don't like it. No, I don't like it. I don't like feeling like I'm in a fish bowl. I want to bowl in silence. Yeah, that was always the thing in fucking radio. They build these goddamn studios with just glass walls. Yep. Like people come walking by, looking in there. Get the fuck out of yeah. here. Like. Well, no one is enjoying this. Like, who is this good for? I'm not like a. I'm not a fucking dime show freak yeah, on display. Like, Get out of here. And no one is, has a genuine interest. They want to fucking show you their asshole so you'll stutter on air. Like, <laughs> I bet there's so many asshole prints on the glass outside <laughs> of, of a, a radio of a station. Rock radio yeah. station. <laughs> Just nothing but butt prints. <laughs> Dirty spots. Yeah. All oh, over. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The These worst, boys got to clean better. The worst Christmas kisses. <laughs> <laughs> also reminds me, got an ad. This isn't one of those. Oh, got no. an ad for Hershey's Kisses that revolved around the Christmas kiss cookies. Uh, Thought of you right yeah. away. Since I know you live that life. Um, yeah, they're a tasty treat. I'm not a fan. I'll, I'll, mm-hmm. I want a, give me a peanut butter cookie and a chocolate kiss. I'll yeah. be happier. They're hard to eat. <laughs> they're hard to eat, Nathan. Oh, this is strategies all of the fun <laughs> do you go do you nibble all the way around and yeah, then eat the kiss boy. of course you do yeah 
Or I'll nibble some and have just the right ratio of chocolate to the cookie. Oh, my mm. God. Me, I'm trying to eat the whole cookie. I got it high-centered. I got that kiss poking yeah. into the roof of my mouth like an idiot. <laughs> like choking nah, and nah. panicking. <laughs> <laughs> I count four cookies in Grandma his mouth. Grandma slapping yeah. your back. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> she makes you eat it with a knife and fork. <laughs> your aunt's got the camcorder yeah. out. <laughs> no. Show me you can eat it this way to let you eat it your way. <laughs> Eating them with knife and fork. I'm 24. <laughs> Plucking all the kisses out, yeah. eating them. No. <laughs> not a not a favorite Christmas no. cookie of mine. Uh, so they're they're at the bar drinking out of that bowling ball, and they're oh. like, <laughs> I love the shudder that you just no. did. I'm with you. The idea of drinking Fuck. out of the holes of a bowling ball oh. gets so fucking sick. God, you would. They're sticky in there. Oh, yeah. Wet for no reason. Why are they wet? Oh, that's that's a hundred times worse than doing a mat shot at the bar. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. which I also have never done, but yeah. I know it's a thing. Yeah. Uh, there, remember in the good times, I love Homer distinctly remembering that that was the first time he had nachos. Yeah. was when he was a little <laughs> kid at that bowling alley. <laughs> and it, it dawned on me, boy, have I not had nachos in what, in whether they're great or whether they're gas station garbage. I haven't had nachos of any kind in years. I bet. God, and nachos when they're done right. One of my favorite bar foods. Yeah. I don't often see him at a bar. Or I'm like, I'm like a bar with a kitchen. Sure. So yeah, I think, okay, yeah. 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 But Sports like, bar. Yeah. yeah. I would do, maybe the next time I'm walking past that fucking nightmare tub of cheese at a gas station, maybe I gamble. Yeah. But for me, I want hamburger meat to make them. You want a little more than just chips and cheese? You know, I bet the last time, the time I've gotten those kind of garbage ones, the chips and cheese, is when I'm like going to a movie with a buddy and I didn't have time to grab lunch. It's like, I don't want to just eat popcorn. I want hot food. And that's one of the few hot options I get is. I've never like at the theater or at like a stadium, I never get the tray of nachos because it's like. Oh, now you got to get this to your seat. Try to yeah. balance it on your fat thighs. There's no dignified way to eat them. No, there's that's a yeah. good way to put it. There's yeah. no dignity in nachos. <laughs> Even if you have proper setup on the big table and chairs, mm-hmm. it's still hard to eat. Shit's falling off all the time. I do like that, though. Like, you're at a bar with four other people, and you got the big pizza tin full of fucking nachos yeah. in the center of the table. Been a while. Been yeah. a long while. Might have to rectify that. Yeah, there we go. Fuck yeah. I'll fuck some up tonight. Right, well, let's, you. let's do it. Yep. You can watch me. I'll watch you. Okay. Yep. <laughs> we'll eat them together. Just watch you eat yeah. your ass. How just are like, you doing? Yeah. It? It's, like, it's not even gross. It's just purely scientific. <laughs> like, what's your strategy? <laughs> I'm pulling from the edge and working to the mm-hmm, middle. Is mm-hmm. how I, I'm not going off the top. Yep. I'm working down low at the edge. Yep. Or if I pull one that has too much shit, I grab a couple plain chips and make like a sandwich out of it. So you have oh, a, sure. Use them as grabbers yeah. like uh, like non. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> the last thing I want is a pile of plain chips. Yeah. That feels like a waste. And that's bad construction on the restaurant's mm-hmm. part. You got to like you can't just do a tower because mm-hmm. you got fucking two pounds of plain chips underneath yeah. all this. You can't do it that make way. Make them long. Make yep. them long and short. They should have an old dryer that they could throw it all in before they put it on. On the plate yeah and just give it a quick 90 second toss put them in one of them big stainless steel mixing bowls like you spin wings in there you put go. the nachos yep. in there and then serve oh, them it could be done why are we not doing what this? are we doing another million dollar fucking restaurant mm-hmm. idea nacho tossers yeah. <laughs> i'd eat there god would i eat there and regret oh, yeah. it yeah well, right yeah. next put it right next to fucking yeah. potato nightmares yeah. <laughs> tater nightmares and nacho tossers and right next to uh, <laughs> coleslaw nonetheless yeah <laughs> you and i it could be fucking restaurant moguls if we put an ounce of effort into Pe- any of these ideas we could get pizza potamus over there somewhere <laughs> pizza potamus <laughs> holy shit a fourplex of all these restaurants. You and I could own an, an entire strip mall <laughs> yeah. just of our good restaurant <laughs> ideas. My cash register repair shop could be in that strip mall. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to always laugh. Me and a friend used to laugh about the ridiculous little 
kitsch kitschy shops you see downtown in yeah. big cities my, my thought I, I was always having a or it was a cash register repair or aftermarket shopping cart part wholesaler <laughs> <laughs> you don't got inflatable tires on these <laughs> no Jesus <laughs> Christ spoiler really dresses these up I bet it uh, does yeah <laughs> you some decals on this yeah. bad boy <laughs> You got a grill guard? That doesn't have a grill. It's got a front. It's, it's kind of a grill. <laughs> Get the big Texas Longhorns yeah. on the front. I love seeing a fucking weirdo downtown shop. Like, doesn't you have to be that weird? Just like, how? Fucking downtown Fargo, a fucking violin store that's been there yep. for 50 years. Yep. How, how are you still open? It's. I always think it's one of two things. It's either they've owned it forever, so it's paid for. Or they are independently wealthy, and this is how they're going to spend their retirement. Or it's a front for crimes. That like, could what be are you too. like? Yeah. It's a violin store in a town with two hundred thousand people. <laughs> you have enough. Wa- you have enough foot traffic yeah. <laughs> to support a violin store. Fargo can't support a full time comedy club. Yeah. We got a burgeoning, a f- gloriously successful vi- violin store. <laughs> I live not too far from a chandelier store. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to work at. <laughs> what I is bet, your day? How often do you talk to a customer? I bet 70% of your day is answering the phone and saying, no, I'm sorry. We only carry chandeliers. <laughs> 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 people just call in wanting regular light yep. fixtures like track lighting no my, <laughs> no i get why you'd make that call but no just chandeliers here's the square footage of my house how many recessed light cans uh, am i gonna need uh sir i know I that is ceiling lighting help that's you we're gonna think, but no. we recommend menards we, yes. we recommend you give them a call if you ever need a chandelier <laughs> You know, you clearly know that if you ever need a chandelier is a hell of a start <laughs> to a sentence <laughs> Uh, so they're they're drinking out of that bowling ball. We're going to talk about this episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> we promise. Come hell or high water. <laughs> they're drinking out of that bowling ball. Homer's remembering the good times he's had with nachos. Uh, they head down to the bowling alley. I think to do like a, nope, they can't do this to us. They yeah, head down yeah. there with some gusto. And uh, they're talking to the owner, who I don't know that we've ever talked to before. Oh, uh, I feel like we have. He, we had to have. It's yeah. been 34 seasons, yeah. and we used to go to the bowling alley fairly regularly. Mm-hmm. So he's talking about, like, oh, I don't have a choice. The lanes are so warped, and there's that scene where Hans Molman <laughs> throws the ball, and it just comes to a dead stop halfway down the lane, oh and God. then comes firing back and yeah, takes out Lays him on Molman. his ass, yeah. Oh, I <laughs> love it. Find out some hipster bought it who apparently, I had to look this up. We've met this guy before. Oh, that guy is the one I, I'm sorry. That's the guy we've met before. Terrence, the yep. hipster, played yep. by Fred Armisen. Oh, good call. We've yep. seen this guy before. Yeah, once or twice know. even, yeah. Fuck if I remember. Uh, there's something about, and I think I thought this in, have thought this in the past. There's something real old manny when the Simpsons make fun of hipsters. And it just feels so dated. Yeah. yeah. It's like the like, hey, kids don't pull their pants up. I got their pants hanging. No, they don't know. No, that hasn't been in vogue in 30 years. Yeah. 15 at the latest. Yeah. Like and it, you were kind, oh man, even 15 years ago, you're like, what's going on well, here? We got to yeah. pick them drawers up, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, got their pants sagging down is like, is like coded racism yeah. more often yeah. than not yeah. depending on who it's coming out of uh, but yeah there's something about like this guy with his fucking pork pie hat and just the jokes he's making yeah. where it's like guys these are like eight-year-old jokes yeah. yeah i haven't thought of that in a while that's happened before where it's like boy this these the writers seem a little behind the times. It has been a long time yeah, since I've thought that. There was a run maybe like eight seasons ago where we had we ran into that a lot. Yeah, like oh, these writers are in their fifties, mm-hmm. making fun of twenty somethings, making that, fun of millennials that they don't understand. That they they don't understand. It's fine to make fun of it as long as it's funny, but. It's just everything seems so dated and yeah. forced. And, like, like, so easy, low-hanging fruit, yeah, you know? Yeah, Even think back to, like, fucking think back to, like, that episode where Bart raps. Think of the jokes yeah. they were making about, like, rap culture. Oh, boy. Yeah. On that note, I have been told that just recently it came up that I should see Hamilton, the musical. I think it's, like, now streaming on Disney or something it's like that. It's been on Disney since COVID, yeah. And I'm like, I get it, I should, but... 
anytime they shoehorn rap music into somewhere where rap music isn't supposed to be just makes my skin crawl this is so cringy then i definitely think you should watch yeah, it yeah why or why is this person just it seems like a mom in a fucking crustables ad rapping like <laughs> Oh, my, my kids won't eat breakfast. Oh, here, rapping cartoon cat, show me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, Mrs. B. <laughs> oh, my. I, I, I can make myself wretch right now if I think about where that commercial would lead. The mom with a hat on backwards, crossing her arms. <laughs> Word from your mother. Oh, kill us all. <laughs> I hate it. Fuck. I can make myself throw up up right now <laughs> i can't get an emotional response to anything else in life but if i think about a mom rapping oh my god that buddy of mine in high school that made his mom rap on their answering machine what? <laughs> <laughs> they were getting like 75 calls a night so people could just hear it like Holy don't answer moly. don't it was the teen line don't answer the phone you guys we're just like we're, uh, we're all gonna call your phone till i just leave it so we can hear it what <laughs> keith, and, keith and ty are home right now <laughs> i can't remember the rest oh of you. my god I mean, it's not like she had this idea the, the son coerced her into doing this like, why would no, the mom, son want this because he thought it was funny okay <laughs> yeah, so it was yeah. he didn't it wasn't genuine no no you can legit hear him and the other kid laughing in the back like, like stifling oh, their god <laughs> holy shit <laughs> Oh, someone has to find that tape. Yeah. Like, oh my God. It's a, it sucks that that's been taken away from us. Yep. Only that's, that's a pretty long reach to blame that on the lack of physical media. Who's keeping the tiny cassette tapes from an answering machine from yeah. 1996? Holy shit. He and Ty aren't home right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I do get what you mean, though. There's something about there's something so cringy about oh, non-rap people doing yeah. rap. Oh, I'm boy. I'm a hundred percent with you. Oh, the oh. idea of it being a breakfast commercial, yeah. I think, is very funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much of that shit in the mid to late nineties. Like got toast with the most. Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> No more rapping cartoon animals. No. <laughs> With their backwards hat on. Why are they wearing shades? They're inside. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I I haven't seen Hamilton. Uh, like, I've heard a handful of songs because the super cool kids do it at karaoke and ruin oh, everybody's night. <laughs> I just want to hear Journey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but like I've heard it's very good. I've never seen it. I have I I get a little prickly about it because of from like I've read the story and it's like this is so far from historically accurate mm -hmm. you guys. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. You are lionizing a man who was a bad man. Yeah. Alexander Hamilton was a bad guy. He probably had mercury poisoning was 4 <laughs> foot 11. <laughs> brain the size of a walnut Math, mouth full of fucking horse teeth <laughs> i think about people from them long enough i'd throw up think of the smells the smell the think smell? of the smells why of they, the 1760s why are they wearing so many clothes back then what was sex like back oh, then oh boy imagine mouth I, kissing somebody from night from 1770 i bet a woman having an orgasm back then was so rare they saw it as like a sign of witchcraft they burned them yeah, yeah. they burned them at the stake like there's something wrong with you like, if you're a lady in 1770 and you got your rocks off you hit it as well yep, as you could yep you acted like you got you're biting your lip like no. yeah, yeah fuck yeah you got the, <laughs> blame it on having the vapors or the fucking oh a chill came the, through the, the room the dropsies or the Strapping fucking yeah. here. <laughs> you know <laughs> we get flights of fancy us gals <laughs> <laughs> Mass hysteria. Just thinking about wallpaper or something. Before you know it, half the town's been burned. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing gals in the river because they might have liked it for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? They're just breathing into each other's mouths. Mm. The stink of the 1770s. Oh, my God. The rotten teeth. Nobody talks about it. You want them to have horse teeth at that point. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you think about it in history, prostitution was ex extremely popular. Yeah. What? what? Those poor women. What was the smell of a of a oh. whore, of an old west whore? Oh my god. <laughs> 
Well, one thing, they worked in the place where the baths were, so maybe they got to clean maybe up a little bit. Maybe by then they were doing okay. Yeah. 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 Man. But if you're, if you're in Delaware, yep. <laughs> if you're in New Hampshire, 1781. Yeah. Yikes. You drink out of the well mm. that the poo-poo water flows into. I mean, yeah. I will say back then, I bet a whorehouse was hard to come by. They were very puritanical back in those parts of the country. True, that's fair, yeah. yeah. That, I might have kept him out a little. Yeah, but boy, the West. <laughs> I'm a libertine in the West. A lot of horse stink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In them oh, whorehouses. So the cow smell. Everything smells like a saddle blanket yeah. after oh, a hard day. God damn it. Sheep shit everywhere. <laughs> what are we doing? What did the bar itself smell like? Everyone walking in with shit everywhere? Shit on their shoes. On wood floors? Spitting all over the place? Yeah. Oh. Rot gut whiskey and yeah. and decaying teeth? The fucking... Using an outhouse? My God. Just pooping through a board with a hole in it. Yeah. Oh, my. Where does that hole lead to? Who knows? It leads three feet down yeah. to the hole that you half-ass <laughs> dug. To the pile of shit that's four and a half inches from your butt right now. Yeah. Those were the bathrooms at the fairgrounds when I was young. Mm. Just a fucking... Just a shed. Just a hot tin shed. Oh, fuck. And in there was a board with a hole in it. God, as a kid, everyone saw just curiosity, just morbid curiosity. Gotta take a gander. Yeah, take looking a peek. down into that nightmare fucking realm. Unbelievable. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Looking into Pinhead's vagina. Yeah. <laughs> looking down and like the shit's too high. Yeah. It's oh, like, I, this is you know what I want to see? Placid water. An Un- unbroken <laughs> level of water. Like, nope. Sometimes poop them out and stick it out I of the. Could reach down and touch it if I really wanted to. It's a archipelagico <laughs> of poo-poo piles. <laughs> archipelagico. It's definitely not a word. Archipelago. Oh, is I word. shot my shot, God damn it. <laughs> I should have let you have it. Let's get back to it. I can reach out and touch it if I want it. <laughs> Holy shit. Hear that from the stall next to you. <laughs> Oh, they like how close it's to the surface. Oh. Here it's a little, <laughs> try it <laughs> next time. <laughs> oh, you know, I bet by the end of the weekend I could. It's a popular fair. <laughs> Talk with a bag is selling real good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a fucking nightmare hot tinge yet. Yeah. If if women at events like that just in mass decided to start pissing their pants, I couldn't blame them. I couldn't blame. I couldn't blame them no matter what they started doing. I'll start crying, pissing in a stall. That's that <laughs> gross in a fucking porta potty. Imagine sitting down. You know what you did? What everybody did? What I'm assuming everybody did because it's what we did, and I like to think we're not the only weirdos. You fucking used the horse trailer. You had your fucking horse trailer here. It was full of fucking straw. You're going to shovel it out at the end of the week anyway. Oh, my God. But that one human turd popping out, doesn't that catch your eye every once in a while? You just out of sight, out of mind. Like 17 human turds, all your buddies <laughs> sitting back there, too. I've <laughs> definitely been a 15-year-old boy shitting in a horse trailer in the parking lot of the county fair. <laughs> parking lot of a Target. <laughs> By parking lot, I mean the kind of grassy yeah. area that everybody parked. Yeah. Cause it beat going in that fucking shed. Uh, oh. <laughs> Fuck. How'd we get here? I want to shit in humane conditions. <laughs> if I go uh, the rest of my life only pooping in toilets, <laughs> I will consider it a successful life. You, don't think you, you haven't adventured enough. <laughs> yeah. I I pray to God I've used corn leaves for the last time in my life. <laughs> Um, so the bar flies are going to turn it around. They, they, I forget exactly the deal they make. It's a convoluted sitcom yeah. deal of like, if you guys can turn it around in a week, you can have it or something like that. Or I won't sell it yeah. or shut it down. Whatever. Like a, it like is. a TV show deal. Exactly. Uh, it's not going great. Not at all. They're, tr- they're doing their best, like coming up with promotions like Valentine's night, and, but yeah. like they, the Kirk and Luann just want to eat. They don't want to bowl. They have Bart's <laughs> birthday party there. None of the kids like this. Yeah. <laughs> they're forcing the kids yeah. to bowl against their will. <laughs> Giving them bowling balls with birthday hats on the top. <laughs> Millhouse brings up, he's like, oh, what is this? this soda machine it doesn't even accept phones and he's waving his phone at the photo machine or the uh the uh uh soda machine is that a real thing a vending machine with a fucking like apple pay tap your phone kind oh, of thing oh maybe that is. is i just look past it 
Yeah, or, I don't or maybe with a it. tap your card on it sort mm-hmm. of thing. Got to yep. be right. Yep. Who's well, got change on them? I bet that. I bet that's a thing that's so common now. Yeah, just doesn't cross my goddamn mind. I once went to a friend's party once in the cities and went to park and saw a parking meter and got scared because I didn't have any change on me and was like. I, don't, I guess I have to leave. And I went home. I didn't go to my friend's party that night. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. I was just like, well, I've, that might have been the first time I've ever pulled my vehicle up to a fucking parking meter. This is three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> pulled up and was like, oh, I don't have change. I can't park here. Oh, and no. I went home. <laughs> I guess now I don't get to have fun and eat. <laughs> Eat cake. For all I know, there was a fucking app or yeah. I could wave my oh, yeah. phone at it or yeah. something. I guarantee there was an app three gar- years ago. Yeah. I guarantee that it's yeah. not just, this is in fucking. It's a cool hand Luke. They don't right. Dumping nickels. This is in a proper city. Yeah. Like, I bet there was an answer, but I just got scared. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't like this. You're in your finest dress clothes, <laughs> hair all dolled up. Just drove back to the hotel. <laughs> ton of bronzer. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I get scared in big cities. <laughs> I like to think I'm a well-adjusted modern man until I find myself in a city, and I'm like, "You're a fucking hayseed." <laughs> it's letting out high-pitched squeals There's and everything. Too many cars. Uh, what direction are they going? They're going that way. What do you fucking mean? <laughs> Open, oh, forcing your eyes open. <laughs> oh my God, they're coming right at us. No, they're not. <laughs> Get me in a parking structure. I'll lose my goddamn mind. Which way do I go? <laughs> One black guy comes out, you just throw your wallet at him. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm, I'm at that booth right when you drive into the parking structure, just like, do I take this ticket? I don't understand. Do I leave it on the dash? Do you want it back when I leave here? The bar's already up. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't do any tickets. <laughs> My old dash is covered. <laughs> I'm mashing on the help yeah. button. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, I do. There's something about I get in a city, I revert to just this fucking AC. Help. Just this goddamn hillbilly. And the works here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where can I tie my horse? <laughs> uh. <laughs> So their efforts to turn the bowling alley around aren't going great. Uh, they're, uh, they're, we're at the dinner table, and Homer's trying to get Marge to bowl, and she doesn't want to bowl, and Homer is suspicious of, like, what do you mean you don't want what? Are you hiding something from me? And I was like, oh, this is the one. And it's Jacques that yeah. she's hiding from him. It took me, I couldn't think of the name, but it's like, ah, oh, this is a night, this is a fucking way back. Jacques the bowling perv. I'm going to say season one. Season one, season two, at the latest. At the latest. Uh, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Mar- Homer gave Marge a bowling ball for, for her birthday, and she, as a fuck you, decided to take up bowling yeah. and had this swarthy bowling perv as her <laughs> instructor and almost slept with the guy yeah. but didn't perhaps the closest she's come to actually doing it maybe the absolute closest of all the times their marriage has been on the verge of destruction yeah. that might be the closest I think there was one other one that was very close where she started dating a guy or something like, oh yeah i think you're yeah. right yeah uh I forget how Jacques comes up in particular, but the, the it's maybe in Marge's head. Does she like conjure mm-hmm. a photo of him? And there's a picture of, of him on the wall. Yes, there's yeah. a photo of him on the wall, on the wall of fame at, uh, at Barney's Bolarama. Uh, Homer's coaching her, and she's doing great, uh, really great. Marge hot-dogging big yeah. time. She's doing fucking trick shots and <laughs> having a good old time bowling. Bowls like a 284 or something yeah. 260 ridiculous. 260-something, yeah, something wild. Unbelievable. Yeah. I bet I've broken 104 times yeah, in my life. I'm a miserable fucking bowler. The last time I went bowling over the summer, I bowled one. I bowled the best game of my life, like a buck 89 no or something shit. like that. I was. I took a fucking picture. Look I was this. like, look at this. Uh, doing it. I did it. <laughs> the next game, fucking 70 yeah. or something, you know? <laughs> Zero consistency. Uh, 
I like that we work a lot of Flintstones jokes in here. Yeah, the twinkle toes. Yeah, the twinkle toes and the octopus pin setter. Yeah. <laughs> I like that we make those jokes. At one point, Homer's like, he's got the thought bubble daydreaming about the Flintstones bowling, and it cuts outside to Lisa going, he spends more time in there than he does yeah, out here with us anymore. Good. That's a good joke. Yeah. Uh, the hipster, Terrence, I think is the name of that the seems hipster. right. Uh, is so impressed with Marge's bowling that he sets up yet another sitcom premise. Like we double down on our on our dumb sitcom yeah. premises. Yeah. Uh, Marge has to beat someone of his choosing uh, to determine the fate of the bowlerama. And this Jacques secret is super weighing on Marge. She's like, oh, I can't let Homer find out about this. She's got real shame and guilt tied yeah. to it. And wouldn't you know it, Marge has got the bowling yips. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking poor uh, Hans Woman gets brained yet again in a bowling accident. Oh, does yeah, he? Yeah. I think I missed that. <laughs> poor Hans Molman. Yeah, he takes a beating. Uh-huh. Marge has got the yips, all of a sudden can't fucking bowl, so Homer calls her a bowling instructor over to the house, and wouldn't you know it, it's Jacques, uh, the swarthy French yeah, bowling perv. That was nice to see. Uh, voiced by Albert Brooks again. Really? Yep. All these years later. Yeah, doing a pretty decent French accent. Yeah. Uh, Jacques in the right there in the doorway like goes deep into recapping that night yeah. where she almost came over and fucked him. Yeah. Like I've shaved my face four times and my back twice <laughs> and my uh, body. And uh, if you remember back to that episode, he is a fucking swinging bachelor. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got oils. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the, the love making trophies. Yeah. <laughs> Lives in some like bachelor apartment complex, singles apartment yeah. complex. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Marge not into this at all. We make a lot of jokes at, at the at the expense of the French, which we haven't had the Simpsons dunk that on. They the used to all time. the time. Yeah, long long time. Uh, Abe like kind of oversees at the bowling alley. Sees how like up close Jacques is getting on Homer's wife and does his best to try to warn Homer Homer not believing him at all uh and then Abe gets his old men to like dig up some info on Jacques they do a bunch of Facebook research yeah. <laughs> I think it's funny that all the grandpas are good at Facebook yeah because grandpas are on uh -huh. Facebook there's a couple of old guys I didn't recognize yeah there's a handful of them yeah. like you get Jasper and you get uh the old Jewish guy yeah there's like two black guys yeah I've there's never a couple seen others yeah. that I didn't recognize at all uh Homer goes over to Jacques place full of beans gonna whoop that ass uh, reminded me of the Peloton episode, which seems w was like mm. four weeks ago or yeah, something. Uh, like, we, didn't we kind of just do this? Uh, but okay. Um, he goes over there, going to give Jacques a piece of his mind. And when he opens that door, and it is covered in paintings and photos of Marge. Yeah. <laughs> real creepy. Yep, very creepy. <laughs> didn't see that coming. Didn't, I figured no. he'd be just another notch in his belt. Yep, exactly. I didn't call him being hung up on Marge all these years mm -hmm. because, you know, we have a character for that already. His name is Artie Ziff. Yep. Yeah, I yeah. I was like, you're kind of stepping on Artie's character yeah. toes. You got yeah. a little gimmick infringement going yeah. on here. <laughs> uh, and they have, they. I did like this, they have a fun, like, sword fight but with bowling balls homer even picks up a bowling ball and says as we say in my country on guard yeah. which is very funny and they have a bowling ball fight uh and we get this like this real uh, marge shows up and breaks this up uh and we get this reel of like classic homer boners and it's all old episodes yeah. so it's all the old animation yeah. of him fucking up because uh, Marge is like, well, you remember that time. Yeah. And then it's just him fucking reliving <laughs> a dozen other times yeah. that he fucked up. Uh, and they make up. Marge's opponent that Terrence has picked is, of course, Jacques. And Marge wins by like two points. Yeah. Like makes a tough split spare at the end and, and wins. And then Jacques is arrested and taken away because he's here on an expired bowling <laughs> visa. I love the bowling visa. Yeah, specifically bowling <laughs> visa is very funny. 
I like this one. It was it was good to see Jacques. I knew that it was coming. Uh, like I had seen the photo of, or a, like a screen grab of him standing in the doorway talking to Marge. That's what I saw last oh, year when okay. it aired. Uh, and people loving this episode. Oh, really? Yeah. I think this episode is, I'll call it good, but I'm not going to fucking fall all over I, myself. I go as low as average. I yeah. Five out of ten. Yeah. Well. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. I think it's a little... I like that it's not about Marge being tempted to get with Jacques. Mm -hmm. It's about Marge trying to cover up that she was ever tempted yeah. to be with Jacques. Yeah. You know, like it's it's not just rehashing the same ideas again. Yeah. And I do like that. Marge is the one who messed up and is now like trying to co cover it up. Like yeah. Usually that, that shoe is always on fucking Homer's foot. Yeah. But yeah, I I enjoyed that, and people enjoy that also. This got ah. this got pretty big reviews at the time. This well, people like this episode. Interesting, really. I mean, it's, uh, Jock was a good deep pull character to bring back. Yeah, and a good like it's a, not e not just like boy that's impressive that you pulled a fucking forgotten one out of the mothballs, but yeah. like he's a good one to bring back because he's the one it almost happened with. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like he's only in one episode 33 seasons ago, yeah. but it was important <laughs> at George the time. Bush senior was president. Yep. And hadn't this, been on the Simpsons yet. Yeah, was, was the in charge of America. Yeah. When this fucking episode aired, we're up to episode 18. Uh, family feud. Get it. That's fun. It's like fan. We're having fun. Family. Feud. We kind of had a, we had a, we had pin gal before. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I've never been like a big regular watcher of Family Feud, but I love the concept. I think it's a wonderful concept for a game show. Ah, uh, guessing survey results. Yep. I think the show has gotten too spicy. I don't like it. I don't like all the sexual really? innuendo. What are you doing, it's you this old man? Tired, dumb thing where it's like, what? We just asked a hundred women, what do you wish was bigger on your husband? Packer, and then Steve, what's his name? Harvey, Harvey acts like he's just. This is the end what? of the world. Like every time, just this slack jawed. Like, what have we become as a people, <laughs> motherfucker? You guys are the ones asking the questions. You're like, sure setting it like, up. Which of the holes on your wife do you like to fuck the most? <laughs> Pussy! Whoa. Like, Whoa, I can't believe <laughs> we have degraded ourselves. How have we went so far from the light of our Lord? Oh, like, fuck. Fuck that, me. That I makes hate me that. feel like such a rube because I do kind of like it. But you know, then, yeah. as soon as you point it out, that is every Yeah, clip it's I so see. fucking. Dick. It used, because what it was, it used to be a genuine pop when it's like. Yeah, when it used like, to be genuine. What's your favorite? part of thanksgiving fucking the turkey like what, what? <laughs> that was genuine <laughs> now it's just oh man it's like going to geek show wrestling and people just expect blood blood yeah. should be a treat yes <laughs> dusty doesn't need to bleed every fucking out show he sure fucking did a lot though <laughs> yeah. to be fair and towards the end it was accidental i think his skin was just falling off <laughs> This is not looking good, Dusty. <laughs> yeah. You just sort of bleeding after a hot tag. <laughs> <laughs> Crimson mask after you wipe the sweat yeah. off your brow. You got to go to the doctor. Yeah. That ain't healing right. How many aspirin you got in you right now trying to get that color? Yeah. <laughs> is that something they did? That's fucking Steve Austin told that story once. Like, if you knew you're getting color, you got your fucking gimmick in your, in your wrist tape ready to rock, and then you eat four. 40 aspirin before the show or zero that's what he said maybe he could have been making fun you yeah, know during bunch, this interview bunch or of aspirin yeah a bunch he said 40 Holy he did fuck. say 40 thins the blood i guess thins it's, the blood yeah, and then you yeah. get a little nick and boom you yeah. got crimson mask and brother I, I got fucking syrup blood so i could use that i got some <laughs> thick black as ink blood <laughs> Like, like my squid. It, yeah, my blood is so dark. It's you're, like you're like that big blooper boss yeah. from Mario Sunshine. <laughs> you gotta pull the cork out of its mouth and it sprays black ink everywhere. That's an extremely yeah, specific reference. Say. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm watching horror movies. Like, why does the fucking blood look so fake? Like, it looks like normal blood to me. Man. Like it's so red. It's like that's a color blood, is bro. Like, what? are no. you sure this isn't a color blood? Yeah. thing or do you no, actually no because i've seen blood movies i make it like that's too fucking looks 
like tomato sauce. Well, that's what my blood looks like. And then like, oh, the sure seems dark. I should go get a bread knife. Let's yeah. see what your blood looks Could like. Could we find a better knife than a bread knife? <laughs> <laughs> How about that with a sharp tip? We Box just got uh, yeah. Exacto knife? I'll use an exacto knife. Thank I've you. Exacto yeah. knives. <laughs> I don't know. I think one pass with the bread Jesus knife. Christ. <laughs> see what my tendons look like. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> bread, bread knife is Someone to jump straight to. You're not saw through bones. Jesus, Marlon. <laughs> you got a neck. <laughs> he needs more knives. <laughs> I have one giant bread knife that I use you for You eating day. a little petite cordon bleu with an 18 inch bread knife. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, smear peanut butter on a bagel uh, with a 14-inch uh, serrated little, bread knife. A little bit of brie on a trisket. <laughs> 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 Wish I didn't like these fancy cheeses. <laughs> Trying to cut the tape on an Amazon package. <laughs> you got in the back of your pocket like Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the image of trying to get peanut butter out of the bottom of a mostly empty jar with a huge bread knife. Holy shit. Uh. <laughs> I do got a big one because sometimes I like fancy crusty bread to go with the cheeses. <laughs> You slotting at a wasp nest above your entryway and then going inside and me making peanut butter toast. <laughs> Knife is still sticky yeah, from all the wasp gut. He just wiped that on his pant leg or something. <laughs> It's all rusty because I run it through the dishwasher and no one good and goddamn well you shouldn't. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, we haven't said a word. Uh, <laughs> we are zero seconds into this episode. Homer and Bart, if you remember them too, they uh, went, <laughs> went to a Springfield Ice Dubs game. They're actually both kind of excited because uh, a guy named Chuck Wilder is going to break the record for most batters not unconscious. <laughs> And this dude comes to the plate who has this giant fucking head and a stick body. Begging for it. It's so great. And uh, when they get into the stadium, they find it full of young girls, which they're kind of confused by. Because their uh, plan was Bart's bummed by their seats. Like, oh, they're way up in the bleachers. Oh, but yeah. But home right away is like, nobody goes to Isotopes games. Yep. We'll just move down. Nope. It's fucking packed. You ever party like that? You ever buy a cheap seat and then sneak down to a better seat when you realize there's some open? Yeah. I can't remember the last time. but Because I go to so few things. Sure. I just get good seats because I, I do it so little. I almost never do it, but I was with a mutual friend of ours at a Rob Zombie, Rob Zombie Marilyn Manson concert at Fargo Dome and that that friend was like fuck this let's move that look at all these open seats yeah and me i'm like nice mm, boy got yeah. my hands on my knees just like no these are our seats yeah. this is somebody else's <laughs> we went down there i bet i bet my seat my ass was in that seat for 40 seconds before somebody's gone hey man that's not your seat <laughs> like really just some, just some civilian not really what the f- not I'll arena move. security like i'll move if they come right yeah. like it wasn't and it wasn't his seat weird <laughs> just some fucking tattletale yeah what the fuck it's like do you got what do you fucking hall monitor yeah, get out of here yeah. be cool how bro. many fucking thin blue line stickers you got yeah, on be, your pickup be cool like us yeah what are you doing <laughs> you want to hang out with us all right dude, it's a fucking martin yeah, prince have some pocket manson concert a little pocket schnapps for you if you play cool <laughs> Who you like? You like pocket shots. Little pocket butter shots. <laughs> oh, room temp from, room my, ju- from my body. Warmer Way than warmer room than room temp. temp. <laughs> yeah. Who are we kidding? <laughs> Liqueur hey, boy. warmed by my bottom. You want- <laughs> <laughs> I had to get them through security yeah. somehow. <laughs> All cheeked up with butter shots. <laughs> and you want to feel better about yourself. Go to a Rob Zombie or Marilyn Manson concert. <laughs> you will play point guard on the Rob Zombie fan basketball team. <laughs> the biggins. Yeah. Everyone is farting themselves to death. Everyone is shitting themselves inside out. Why does it smell so bad? <laughs> Taco Bell vapors yep. yeah. permeating every surface. <laughs> fucking Taco Bell farts cause vapor lock in the AC system, so it's fucking... <laughs> 
scorching in there. <laughs> you gotta when you get home, you throw those clothes away. It's like going to a bonfire. Yeah, that smoke yeah, smell ain't never yeah. coming out. Just get rid of them. Is that burnt tires? Well, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pick your outfit going to a Rob Zombie yeah. show the same way you pick your outfit if you're gonna paint. <laughs> what am I fine Wait, losing? Never yeah, my never wearing again outside this house. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the, the Homer and Bart are confused by all the girls, but they soon fi- figure out what's going on when the Jumbotron starts playing a video uh, from the Murmur Nation about pop singer Ashley Starling's new song, Glitter. Yeah. The song starts playing, and the, as the crowd of girls hold up panels to make large signs in the stands, so Homer and Bart, every time something interesting is going to happen, the panels come up. They don't get to see what happens. Yeah. We see the wind-up. We don't see what happens. Then we see the guy with the giant head lying in a heap. <laughs> yeah, they did the thing they came to see. Yeah. They didn't get to see. Uh, so they are bummed. Uh, Homer asks Bart who Ashley Starling is, and his response is, a whiny pop singer for whiny girls who love to whine, which I really liked. <laughs> That's a fun take on what yeah. Bart would think about that kind of artist. So they keep missing shit. Homer and Bart are kind of pissed about all this. So I would be too. Fuck yeah. Like I've never been at something where someone's holding a sign and ruined it for me. I've oh, been. At, I don't know that I have either. I've been at like general admission or uh, like general admission seats where some guy puts his girlfriend on his shoulders. Like, well, fuck this. I guess I gotta move. But you can move. But you can move. You can yep, move. Yep, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure my giant dumb fucking head has ruined many a concerts for little ladies. Same here. Yeah. Like, I'm too wide and too tall. I'm sure. I'm sure several five five women have yep. cursed my name yep. at fucking three days grace concerts. Yep. But I have many times like. I was like, I know I look like I'm a creep, but I will I will stand right behind the big group of girls because it's like, okay, I'm not blocking any of these fucking drunken louts fucking head yeah. the, uh, with my giant head, so I'll just chill here and look like a creep. Yep, I can <laughs> see over you, yep. so it's, it's fine. And then I'm not getting blocked at all. This is, we all win. Everybody wins. Hey. It, what really, it, it, I, I wasn't going to shows like this at the time, but I often think of like, oh, there's too many fucking signs nobody can see when you watch like Attitude Era Wrestling. wrestling. Nuts. Fucking nuts. Everybody's got a fucking sign. I remember clearly watching, I'm pretty sure an episode of Nitro where a guy had a big sign that just said, the guy behind me can't see. And you eventually that guy grabs it and rips it in half. That's like it, funny. It gets demolished. That happened. That was like, that was a relatively popular sign to bring to wrestling. Oh, like really? That, made, that sign made it into the games. No shit. Yeah, like really? Like the guy behind me can't see. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I, I, give, but now you watch wrestling. It's like maybe we should bring back signs. I kind of miss signs. Yeah, like you watch an episode of Raw from 1998, it's just covered. Yeah, it's like this episode. It's just placards. One out of six people had a sign easily. Yeah, which fucking I ain't got that kind of fucking forward thinking planning so good for them i guess but don't fucking ruin this wrestling show for me by holding a sign in my fucking face i'd be bummed i'd be real yeah, bummed yeah. if you were in front of me with a sign but as a tv viewer bring back signs. yeah yeah <laughs> and more of us are watching tv than are at the live show big time yeah. uh so homer and bart are leaving and ken brockman calls over homer thinking that he is an ashley sterling fan and interviews him about the singer homer repeats exactly what bart said to about ashley uh, Bart just distanced himself from what, and like just like it's like like in a trance, like I like Ashley, she is great. I think her fans are great. And Homer's like, "What are you talking about?" And Bart's like, "Brother, you are a dead man. I don't know this man." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throws him so hard under the yeah. bus. <laughs> Bart's scared. You rarely see Bart scared. He's, He's just shook. Pretty yeah. defiant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Homer's driving the next day. There is a fucking ad. Is it all you can eat bread at Mr. Yeast's Doathon or something like that? <laughs> or fucking, it's. I insane. remember all you can eat bread, but I don't yeah. remember the name of the business. It's yeast and dough. It's Mr. <laughs> something something. It's so. All you can eat bread is so ridiculous. I would go to an all you can eat bread place. All you can eat bread was the the most extravagant thing that a medieval peasant could think yeah, of. Think of that, yeah. <laughs> like, you couldn't it, imagine it. Imagine all. The bread. Uh, <laughs> I've got the knife. <laughs> That's a good callback. Hey, oh, a second. I'm an outlaw. Uh, 
<laughs> Ain't gonna catch the Midnight Rider. This comedy <laughs> shit is easy, and we're good at it. <laughs> Midnight Rider's too busy cutting baguettes up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love a good crusty bread, a nice French peasant loaf. Oh, fuck my ass! It's so good. Oh boy. Whew. <laughs> So Homer's driving the next day. The radio starts playing Glitter, the Ashley song. Uh, while he's trying to change the station, only to have the song keep popping up, because apparently they're like the Illuminati. On every station. A doll based on Ashley Starling is thrown onto his car, causing him to crash. Still love that they're driving the same car. I loved seeing the radio yeah, with yeah, the push buttons yeah, for yeah. all the presets. It's so like, good. It's so good to see an old yeah. car radio. Uh, he crashes. Glitter comes out of the fucking airbag. Uh, Homer gets to work. He's attacked by fucking birds. When he comes and there's that fucking bird puck. What do they call those things? <laughs> Seed cake. Seed cake. It's like all <laughs> cakes are good cakes. It's got fucking worms in it, bud. <laughs> but mostly like, seeds, oh, like seeds and nuts. So sick. <laughs> he picks this, it up and just takes a yeah, bite. Oh. Uh, uh, Lenny and Carl tell Homer that he's made the power plant a dangerous place to work, and they like look into the camera like ah, I. Sub-. It's like oh, I like how they keep mentioning BTS. Yeah, and yeah. also BTS's fans are very awesome and not at all insane. Yeah, they always <laughs> they always throw in like they're also very sane yeah. and level. Yeah, I like that. The, yeah, BTS gets brought up a handful of times yeah. in this. <laughs> Couldn't identify a BTS song if you put a gun to my head. <laughs> well, maybe because I think they sing in Korean, so maybe I could maybe I could sort it out yeah. <laughs> it's just so good yeah. what, what a thing for a guy to spend his middle age days deciphering bts lyrics <laughs> <laughs> this is a sign <laughs> i know a lot of rammstein fans so bts fans can't be that much different you like a band so much you learn a different language yeah, no shit you're a fan yeah. my god i never thought of that but yeah uh, Bart confronts Homer once he gets home and tells him that he has to repent to stop the attacks. Homer refuses to do so. Uh, is attacked by work birds again the next day. It was around this time Lisa's revealed to be part of the Murmur Nation. I think Mackenzie and Billy. Mackenzie's the girl, Billy's the boy. Yeah, Billy played by what's the... Uh, uh his name is Billy. Billy on the street? Uh, yeah, Billy Eichner. Really? Is that, uh, Eichner? Yeah, is that yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's him. Uh, Homer is now, he's got the weird Homer beard, like, or like his muzzles got hair on yeah, it. Yeah, like, he's kind of, he's kind of shaggy. Yeah. Uh, he's reduced to just staying at home when he goes outside to get the paper. Was it Lawn Burger? Lawn Burger. Lawn, <laughs> There's a hamburger laying on the front. Oh my God. Lawn Burger. He's yep. so excited. Chasing it on all fours <laughs> to a food truck. <laughs> and he's like, oh, the mothership. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> and he gets pulled in by like two ninja clad people. Gets abducted yeah. by this food truck. <laughs> and goes to like Echo Land or something like that. Again, with the name of the gate. Echo it, Studio. Echo Studios. He gets dumped out. He's like, I'm still waiting for my chili fries. That's <laughs> so funny as yeah. they speed off. I'm still waiting on chili fries. <laughs> not a fan of chili fries. Nope. Rare. Too messy. Yep. Not, not nope. worth the effort. I want just good french fries with some ketchup. I will occasionally. Occasionally, if I'm feeling buck wild and it's on the menu, I'll go cheese fries. But chili fries is a step too far. Yeah, they're, even cheese fries for me is just too sloppy. I also don't want chili on a hot dog. I'll fuck with that if I got a knife and fork. Yeah? I, got, I don't want to eat it on a goddamn mountain bike. <laughs> or in your yeah. car. Yeah, well, I've done that. Or brother. on a date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to look dignified eating an 18-inch chili dog coney. <laughs> Oh, baby, you're so enchanting tonight. So do you have siblings? This is a first date. Yeah. What's saying you look enchanting <laughs> on a first date at a Sonic? With a mouthful of chili dog. Oh, God, it's a decadent. All over your hands. Your and my shirt. hair. You got chili in your hair. My hair's all beaned up. Oh. <laughs> To make me look dignified? Oh, boy. <laughs> you come here often to Sonic? No. Yeah. I'm a 41-year-old mother of two. She's just, sh- sh- just sipping a shaved yeah. ice, a nice lemon shaved I, ice. I got three you ponies on my dash. <laughs> Dump all the tots into a paper bag. It's easier to eat. Get them out of the little shoots. You don't like the little, you'll have a bite into them. 
<laughs> it's, it's not on the menu. But if you ask them, they'll put jelly on the corn dogs. I got four fountain mellow yellows. <laughs> <laughs> More than you have cup holders yeah, for. I poured it into a cooler with a spigot on the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I, I ate at Sonic not two days ago. Man, <laughs> uh, there's worse trash. Food. I love Sonic. Yeah. Give me three corn dogs and a peach tea. That's Jesus it. Christ! <laughs> I should fucking. <laughs> You should lose your voting registration. <laughs> Is that a bad order? Uh, it's kind of fucking wild. <laughs> you don't you, like tea? That's your, it's just everything. Everything is real trouble. So. <laughs> Three. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a, that's about the lyrics of a John Mellencamp song. <laughs> Cone dogs and a peach tea. <laughs> Living alone, you see. <laughs> it's in the garage. <laughs> Five minutes and the light goes dim. Because <laughs> we're eating my feel, he says, and he digs right in. <laughs> and a hot day, gonna eat stick too. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just order some starch and throw it away. That's it. So it won't make the employees feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Please order some fries with those. <laughs> oh, fuck. I like corn dogs. <laughs> and if I get tots, there's not enough room for the third corn they dog. Come, they come with their own carbs <laughs> on the dog. Explaining it to the 14 year old girl working there, self conscious about it. <laughs> <laughs> and easy to eat when you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the iced tea is so good. Yeah. <laughs> really, well, I just know the corn dogs. I'm sorry. I, I usually get breakfast burritos, but I didn't want breakfast burritos that day. I wanted corn dogs. I'm not a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer down those corn dogs driving straight to church. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't know that I was revealing too much. <laughs> My bad, Caitlin. Three Ys, that's unique. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I thought we were just talking about Sonic. Yeah. I didn't realize I was unveiling a shameful Sonic order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think three corn dogs is too much. <laughs> They're not very big. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, three corn dogs and a peach tea. <laughs> I've been talking about that for so long. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Because <laughs> in my head, you're really ordered off the fucking menu, like. Like, that's not, you can't, it's, they don't list a corn dog alone. It's in a combo. Nope, but, not true at okay, all. Okay, so that, listed yeah. alone. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It, yeah. to be fair, might be part of a combo, yeah. but it's on the value thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you want a corn dog, they're like a dollar. Here, have, have one. Oh. Have three. Yeah, the, three. The corn dogs cost three bucks, the peach treat, the peach T is four eighty nine. Exactly. <laughs> they're, they're like, they're, they're, what condiments are you getting with it? <laughs> If you say no, no condiments. You know what those people are assuming? This motherfucking animal's dipping him in the peach tea. <laughs> don't put a lid on it. He don't need it. <laughs> no ice. It just gets in the way. <laughs> You're draining the fucking peach tea, the tea through your fingers into a dipping bowl. <laughs> you hand it back to them. <laughs> we do not want this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no, I, get... I, I don't get condiments I don't get condiments with the corn dogs You just eat them dry Oh, oh no 
<laughs> this can't be. It's hard to dip in the diamond. <laughs> you got to pull over, man. This is, <laughs> this is the folly of this meal. <laughs> I am I have eaten a corn dog while driving and dipping and I have it is dangerous. It you can't is. be dipping. You you're, can't be dipping when you're, you're driving. You're Don't fucking, dip and drive. You're crazy taxi in it. <laughs> <laughs> Friends don't oh. let friends drive dipping. Jesus Christ, that peach tea is <laughs> <laughs> corn dog down to the handle. <laughs> oh, that wasn't the straw. It was the stick from my corn dog tea. <laughs> Why am I still in this drive through yeah. talking to this lady? They, there are seven employee hands out that little window holding cell phones. <laughs> Because I'm the most popular boy at Sonic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Giving a peace sign selfie, corn stick in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video of me at Sonic with 400,000 views and I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to be on your toes in public. You don't want to be on TikTok yeah, and you don't, not know it. All of a sudden, you're known as corn dog slut online. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves them. <laughs> Do like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, pushing all taking the stick out pushing all three corn dogs into the peach tree <laughs> closing it and shaking it <laughs> letting them soak into the oh, corn oh, like a brine oh. <laughs> god damn it I think maybe I'm gonna stop sharing things on this <laughs> podcast <laughs> I feel like this is a divide. I bet there are people out there like, no, that's totally normal. I'm one of those yeah, people. I think you have your tribe out there. <laughs> are they all riddled with diabetes? My, my free doggers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are my free dogs at? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right here. <laughs> they all look like me. They look yeah. exactly like You're me. You're by far the fittest guy in the group. <laughs> we look to you as a guiding light. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Some of us would switch to the diet tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. shit. Oh. Uh, I cannot emphasize enough the corn dogs are not very big. <laughs> they're not. I picture they're floppy, so they're weird to eat. They're so long. I'm like, bad. Yeah, I try to get, I got my tongue out. They, those ain't flash fried. They're microwaving them, so they got a little flop to them, I bet. <laughs> they're so good. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for enjoying Daisy Trees. <laughs> <laughs> more things should be peach flavor. Why aren't there more peach things? It's the best yogurt. Oh, it's the best. That's tea good. Flavor. God, it's a good yogurt. I fucking ate it. Peach it's is the good. best yogurt. Yeah, it's a good tea. Okay, God damn it, I'm getting bummed out. We gotta make. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't mean to make you sad. <laughs> It is a peculiar taste. I don't think it's peculiar. I just like Sonic. Uh, Who doesn't like corn dogs and iced tea? Uh, <laughs> it's so refreshing. Oh, what a nice treat! Oh. On a warm day. <laughs> oh, why don't bring temperature into this? <laughs> Eat them in your climate control car. <laughs> don't bring that to the park. <laughs> Scaring kids. <laughs> Surely he doesn't have another one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Surely he doesn't have a third. What? <laughs> 72 ounces? Is that what it says on the side of that peach tea? <laughs> Fuck. I'll, I'll give it to Sonic. Big fucking titties Holy. on Sonic. They're still rolling styrofoam on the Yeah, cup. they do. Still rolling yeah. styrofoam. Fuck. Fuck them birds. <laughs> Fuck birds them sea dumb. tortoises. More of them die. We can put them in our corn dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Fresh <laughs> tortoise meat <laughs> today at Sonic. <laughs> oh. So Homer meets Echo. <laughs> Ashley Simps Starling's rival, voiced by... Oh, what's her name? It's a it's a musical artist who I had no idea who she is. Jade Nova. Oh, no idea. Apparently a YouTube singer oh, okay. turned actual Big, pop star. Yeah. I have no idea. She also plays Ashley. So. Oh, really? But she looks kind of like Echo. You can uh, tell they drew Echo to look like that lady. I couldn't figure out who. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming Ashley's fans are meant to be 
Taylor Swift fans, and she's kind of meant to be Taylor Swift, but she doesn't look anything like Taylor right. Swift. Right, she seems like kind of an amalgamation of Swift and uh, Katy Perry. Yeah. The music seems a little Katy perry Oh, okay. good point, good point. Like, real upbeat pop, yeah. Yep. yeah. Believing in yourself, mm-hmm. like, Katy Perry is a lot yeah. of that kind of music. And Echo lets Homer know that he will be uh, protected by her fans that are Echolaliacs, something like that, Echolaliacs. Sure. Uh, meanwhile, Bart tells Lisa that he knows she is part of Murmur Nation and he wants in because he wants access to Lisa's army for so he can upgrade his pranks. Because he has them all planned out. He's got a fucking journal yeah, with all black his prank book. plans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lisa accepts and the Murmur Nation attempt to pull off one of his big planned pranks yeah. at, at the Bolarama. The, The plan was uh, we're going to get Homer's going to be bowling. We're going to put super glue in his bowling ball. The momentum will carry him. We'll have the the lane lubed. Yeah. And we'll he'll slide into a pool of dumps uh, dumpster juice. Dumpster garbage water. (laughs) Oh god. God. So sick. Ish. And he he's like whoa 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 look at my fingers on. Sells it. But he throws a strike bowling perfectly. (laughs) (laughs) Or good at bowling something like that. So they realize, oh, he's been made aware. And then they get bombarded with, like, smoke grenades or something like that. Yeah, yeah, smoke bombs. Yeah. So they realize that, like, oh, shit. Like, we're in the middle of a fucking war. Yeah. Uh Around this uh, around this time, fucking uh, Marge is interviewed by Kent Brockman and about Homer because the word is out that Homer's in the middle of this war, and and they bring up Ashley Starling. She's like, I think she's nice. She sings songs, and they go, You don't know which of the boyfriends is me, but it turns out they're all mean or yeah. something like that. And, and uh, so she, that's a quick thing. Oh, I wonder what that's going to lead to. We find out later. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Bart is kicked out of Murmur Nation because he wasn't as excited enough to meet Mackenzie's dog. Amazing. Is the dog's name Greg? Yep. Yeah. So who names? That's a man's name. <laughs> <laughs> Don't name your dog. That is a weird name for a dog. I kind of like a, uh, uh, maybe not on a dog. I like a, a human name on a cat. Yeah. I love a cat named Kevin. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's terrifying. I think that's so funny. Cats named Kevin will talk talk to you at night because <laughs> then you can shout shit like yeah the goddamn kevin is on the cupboards again <laughs> goddamn mess kevin kevin kept me up all night yeah, last kevin, night you know how he gets he climbed to the top of the closet and pissed everywhere kevin <laughs> Don't you dare, God damn it, Kevin! Dare do that again? <laughs> While we're at that scene at the table, they're like making slime. Yeah. <laughs> Bart comes in with that family-sized box of borax, mm-hmm. and he goes, "I got the family size, so now we'll have enough slime to get his toilet and his secret toilet." <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> the fuck! The idea of Homer yeah. having a secret toilet yeah. <laughs> for the real bad yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. I kind of forgot about that. That is so funny. It's around this time, too, where he mentions, like, well, like I'm the one that's been feeding, uh, giving Dad handsome pills, and they're actually the dog's deworming medication. Heart dewormer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and later on, like, to think I've been taking handsome pills for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, the idea of Homer believing that handsome pills yeah, are a yeah. thing. Yeah, oh, so fucking and good. And the idea of a secret toilet. Yeah. Holy moly. Boy, you are living a life. I got three bathrooms in this house. I should make one. One of them, yeah, the, my the danger toilet. zone, yeah. yeah, the danger zone, <laughs> the one so you don't have to look at it every day. <laughs> the shame toilet, holy, the, have that be your master bedroom one. That door never gets open. <laughs> you just still go out the hallway. <laughs> I, I have in that upstairs in the master bath. The toilet is in a water closet. It's yeah. in its own separate room. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just keep that door locked with yeah. a padlock on it. <laughs> Sheetrock over it. <laughs> yeah, so you can still walk in, brush your yeah. teeth, use the shower, or whatever. A package delivered at the Simpson house by Ashley's Live-In Aerialists, which is a nice, stupid thing that a billionaire pop star would have. They reminded me of the uh, the Dalton Castle boys. Dalton Castle, the wrestler, the real flamboyant oh, one. Wow. And he has the, like, the peacock boys. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. It reminded me of that. That guy's long gone, right? No, he's in uh, ROH. I'm thinking of something different. I'm thinking of that dude in the E about a decade, eight years ago, that had like, he was like a party boy and he'd have his like hangers on. Yes. Be like, uh, Prince Pretty. <laughs> or no, you're thinking Adam Rose. There we go. Yeah, we had the, the dancing boys. I'm pretty sure at one time he got knocked out of the rumble right away, but he fell into his 
party mob. Yeah, they so caught techni- him. They technically didn't touch the ground. Technically and he, not eliminated. He got yeah. back in. He's got like a tough story. He had like a sick kid or something. Yeah. A real, a real sick kid. Not the flu, but like. It was yeah. on hard fucking times there for a long and time. I feel like he was part of like an ESPN hour long documentary. About yeah, like, yeah. I think he was. Was there an NXT ESPN special and he was part maybe, of it? Yep. And uh, that Corey Graves dude was part of it because like he found out he couldn't wrestle yeah, anymore he because had an of that neck shit. Yeah. And that Adam Rose guy was kind of like they've tried a million things. They know I'm talented. But they just can't find the right thing. I'm kind of getting to that age. Yeah. Where if not now, when? Yeah. yeah. He's no longer with the company. Hasn't been for a long time. Yeah, but. yeah. That whole party dude thing didn't really. No, not take really. Off that has mid card, at best. Yeah, written all written over all it. over it. That was always you read. That was always a good opportunity for like local wrestlers to get oh. on TV in a fucking giant bunny costume yeah, or something. To, yeah, because they put the call out. You yeah. know, the same way they do for like. We need local wrestlers to dress up like security guards and so, arrest Stone Cold. Yeah, you know? get, get the shit kicked out of you by Kane. Yeah. So Take every, a big boot from Kane. Yeah, so every once in a while you can see, like, oh, that security guard is this local wrestler yeah, I yeah, like. You know? Fun. Like, I think Darren Corbin from the cities has uh, been on Raw five times or oh, something no shit. like that. Just, just back filler. Someone needs to take a bump. Yeah, exactly. Just need a guy to wear a security outfit. I was a local wrestler. I'd jump at that. Hell chance. yeah. That'd be fun. Absolutely. Yeah. I'd let fucking Baron Corbin hit me with a fucking yeah. clipboard or yeah. something. <laughs> be honored to be hit by that clipboard. Uh, so Lisa opens the package and finds that Ashley Starling is inviting her to dinner. It's this big thing that pops out like girls night, dinner time. Uh, there's like an evening gown kind yeah, of, yeah. And then she, Lisa, finally comes to her senses and looks like, wait a second, this is kind of too this big. This is for Marge. And finds out it's for Marge because <laughs> she saw Marge on the TV. And she made one passing comment. Poor Lisa's devastated. <laughs> yeah, I've dedicated my life to her since I was four years old. Marge makes one comment on TV. I guess that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so we get all unhinged Lisa there for a second. Yeah, we get it. We didn't mention it, but we get it in that last episode too of like Lisa has that brief moment with Bart where she can tell that like what Homer's doing isn't working and she's like she says something along the lines of like I can I can tell this is going to go badly and yes I know that that's a, a warning sign of late stage neur- yeah. neuro- neurosis later in life but yeah. I, this, is, this, is, this is bad yeah, and then right. she like passes out in the background yeah, or yeah. something <laughs> yeah and uh, Homer's like or Bart in the background is like trying to like wave a towel in front of yeah. a paper towel in front of her to wake her up or something yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like when we get like fried Lisa like yeah. stressed out Lisa I like that they have the animation ability to do shit like that yeah like, exactly yeah. there can be something going on in the background Background. Yeah. Uh, so Marge goes to, gets picked up by Ashley's limo, and Ashley just proceeds to get her drunk off her brand of sparkling whiskey. Oh god, so sick! Can you imagine what sparkling whiskey? I have never like. once said, "Boy, I wish this whiskey was carbonated." <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So sick. I mean, a whiskey soda is a thing. Nah, that's not too far. That's what a sparkling whiskey would be. Yeah, I drink. I drink tequila and soda. That's yeah. not that far. Something about the clear liqueurs lend themselves something to about soda. A, something about being brown and bubbly yeah, is yeah. not. People drink scotch and soda. I yeah. think that's repulsive. Yeah. But teach their own. Do uh, can you put a bottle of whiskey in a soda stream and get bubbling whiskey, or does your soda stream know? Hey, something's up. <laughs> hey, we're not doing this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's part. If you look at the Google reviews, someone's asked that question. Oh, for sure. Yeah. There's somebody <laughs> out there left an Amazon review. of. <laughs> I tried to run a bunch of Lord Calvert through this and it started a fire. My house is gone. My life is over. Zero star. Lost both kids in the fire. <laughs> Makes a delicious knockoff Mountain Dew. <laughs> Four out of five stars. <laughs> <laughs> still is fair with his review doesn't let it affect the actual product he, he made the mistake and he yeah, acknowledges he knows that he's, yeah. on, he's yeah. in the wrong so the next day lisa reveals to marge that ash they're all sitting around the kitchen table and marge is like i don't know what the big deal is because like they're ha- like homer's pissed at her for hanging out with ashley yeah and like the kids are all fucking bummed about it that's when uh marge or lisa reveals that ashley has made a music video about 
about basically the bad parts of Homer and Marge's relationship Mm -hmm. called The Way You Was. We get actors playing a younger Marge and Homer. Yeah. The lyrics to that song are (laughs) fucking great. I had to watch them like three times. I was fucking laughing, which I rarely ever do that in The Simpsons. Now rewind to hear a joke again. Also, did you catch The Way We Was? Was, That's the title of the first Here's How Marge and Homer Met episode. Really? It's either the way we were or the way we was. Oh, no shit. Yeah, that's the name of the... Like, we see we see the scene where Marge, like, picks up Homer after prom. Yeah. He's, you know, on the side yeah. of the road. That's the name of that episode. Oh, I'm fuck. pretty positive. That's pretty clever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the fucking one where he's arguing... He has sunglasses on because he's convinced the moon is just the sun at the night. Sun at night. Oh, my God. It, that that whole song is very funny. He has fucking athlete's feet on both his knees. Oh, and he scratched them uh, in the flakes oh, or getting on Marge's so hot dog. She's holding the hot dog above her head. <laughs> <laughs> so now fucking Homer is like what, you know, like he's very upset about us and he just leaves. After, like, Bart rats out Lisa for being part of the Murmur Nation. Lisa rats out Bart for having that fucking playbook of how he's going to fuck with Homer. And Homer's mad at Marge already for this. And then he, on his way out when he leaves, he, like, points at Maggie and he's like, and you're the worst of all, Maggie. And she looks all confused and, like, gives a, a Maggie sound. And he, he says... Evil flourishes when good babies do nothing. (laughs) So good. So funny. (laughs) So he's out. He's doing what Marge usually does. Gets fed up and leaves. Yeah. So he's gone for a while. Uh... Fuck yeah, there's a good scene where the, the the family's sitting around all worried. It's like, it's like, what should we do? It's been three days. He's never gone for three days. I think it's more like, do you want to run the can opener again? That usually brings him. He always comes back when he hears the can opener. And Marge is like, I tried that yesterday. And yeah. cuts to the kitchen where the cat and the dog are eating a bunch of canned chili. Yeah. There's just all these opened yeah. chilies. <laughs> Uh, so Homer, meanwhile, has been at Echo Studios because uh, Echo convinces him that music is meant for more than just diss tracks. Yeah. So what does he call it? Uh, it's an I've been diss yeah, track. To show how much he's been hurt. And the song is rid. The video is ridiculous. It's real very high funny. concept. Yeah, real high art. <laughs> or like the voice, like March, <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> I think the song is a bummer because the other one is so good. Yeah, there's no laughs. It's just weird. Yeah, yeah. it's like super sincere. You yeah. know, it's not meant to be funny the way that first one is. So- uh, so Homer shows back up again, and he's excited to show them the video he made with Echo called The Meltdown. The song, explain, the song explains how much Homer cares about each of his family members and just how hurt he was by all their, yeah. uh, how they kind of left him high and dry. Also, <laughs> this takes a while. Yeah. It's very long. Yeah, you're right. I kind of forgot about that aspect of it. Yeah. Like the house floods, then he, he he's out, and then he's falling. It's just real it's slow very mo, Very uh, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but now they all see the error of their ways. Uh, and then we, I think we get uh, Mackenzie and Billy end up going to the Simpsons house to tell Homer that they have stopped their attacks on him. The family then talks about how psychotic fandoms and how crazy it is to get mixed up in groups like that. That's when Marge realizes they're late for church. It's very, that's uh, a very uh, funny uh, joke. Ooh, ooh, that's good satire. Can you imagine us getting wrapped up in something that, yeah. you know, is so fanatical and yeah. people get hurt? Oh, God, we're late for church. <laughs> like, that's yeah. that's funny. Yeah. Episode had some good laughs in it. I think it's a good episode. Yep, that fucking song. I'm missing so much of that song. That first song was so funny. Yeah, very funny. Uh, we get, yeah, Bart and Bart and Lisa, we get some good interaction between the two of them. Yep, the entire, just the core concept of, like, you fucking shit talk the Swifties and they came for you, yeah, you know? Yeah. There's that one <laughs> bit where... I forget if Homer gets it in an email or in the actual mail. It's like, enjoy being swatted. And I was like, what the fuck? They're swatting Homer? Yeah. But then it cuts to outside and (laughs) it's the name. SWAT is the name of the the pest company. And they're fumigating the house with him in it. (laughs) It's a uh, acronym of some kind. Yeah, yeah. That's the name of the business. Fucking, it's super fucked up that swatting's a thing. Yeah. What is swatting? Oh, you don't know swatting? Uh-uh. Oh, swatting is when people 
like you run into it with like Twitch streamers. People send they put in an anonymous call and send SWAT to your house. So you're just minding your own business and SWAT has been given this tip that there's something terrible in here and the fucking SWAT team with guns out comes, breaks your fucking door down. What the hell? Yeah. It's shockingly common Yeah, huh. in, in like online entertainment streamers and such. Huh. They find out where you live and they send SWAT and maybe you get shot because yeah. I don't you know, if, know. I don't know if you read the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fucking happy trigger fingers. Yep, real itchy ones on uh, a lot of America's police forces. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Why the fuck would they just go on an anonymous tip? They have to. Yeah. You know, what if they don't? Yeah, that's true. There's no win there. But other countries just don't have armed men how about at the that? ready. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> yeah. How about you? How about you don't have... All the every police force riddled with middle to, military yeah, toys. Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck does a guy that took a six week course at Devil's Lake Tech have access to a machine gun and the authority to use it? Yep. <laughs> and the, the want to yeah, use yeah. it. You want to use yeah, the toys. So bad. You know, it sits in there. You clean it all the time. Yeah. So much cleaner than your service revolver. <laughs> you, if you work for the fucking Stone County Highway Patrol, you want to drive the tank they gave yeah, you. Yeah. So insane. It's in Canada, too. I have a friend that talks about that. They have, like, armored personnel carriers going down the main street of the college town he lives in. It's like, what are you f- going to fucking bust up a frat party with this fucking thing? Like, give me a fucking break. Because we make them, and we don't have wars to fight. Yeah. So you sell, them at, you sell them at bargain basement prices to the police. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's Good. gone on since the fucking 80s. Like, Good. it's not new. Good system. Mm-hmm. We're doing it. That's hot political end of this podcast. Yeah, not where I saw this going at all. <laughs> this is just a fun podcast yeah. about corn dogs. That's an average and an a slightly above average. Yeah, I would call I would call them both good. Yeah, I did like them both. Uh, I think I like that first one a little more than the second one. I think you and I probably differ there. I think there were more laughs in the second one, but I enjoy the story of the the fucking pop star battle thing. Does nothing for me. Yeah, didn't really move my needle. You yeah. are right. I wish we could think of more of it, but the song the yeah. that Ashley sings is very funny. Yeah, that was very good. Um, Homer's got that fucking dent in his head. Which yeah. is like playing with his hair. Yeah, yeah. And, he's, and it collapses while yeah. she's touching his head. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a good episode. Do you think the next episodes will be as good? I guess we're going to find oh, out. Shit. 19 and 20 are the next episodes we're watching. Close to the end. We are very close to the end. After next week, we will have one more. Ooh, we're almost ready? fresh out of Simpsons again. Yeah, then back to... Nothingness, the echo chamber of our own brains. Yep, just us shouting our lunacies yeah, at each other. Yeah, and that's terrifying. Yep, talking about our bodies. Sometimes it makes for riveting podcasting, so we should keep tuning in. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I think the horse shit is just as viable as yeah. the Simpsons. <laughs> so that'll be coming soon. But uh, we still got Simpsons. Still no Mr. Oh, Burns. No Burns. I'm losing my mind. No fucking Smithers. No Smithers, because why would you have Smithers yep, without they, Burns? They go together. Yeah, that is something. Losing it, yep. Nathan. We finally got our taste of the Van Houtens last week. So. Yeah, maybe they got four fucking episodes to satiate yeah. my oh, Burns yeah. lust. Yeah. My God, that's wild. We went this deep. Mm-hmm. When a whole season, we saw him yeah. at the in that fucking anime episode. It's like, we, it's like Dan Castaneda, or however you pronounce his name, is still doing the show. Yeah. It's not like a Mrs. Krabappel situation where the voice actor died. Yeah, you know? he's like, alive and already showing up to work. Had yeah. him cut some burns lines. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, so. God damn it, next week. That'll be Here's it. Here's hoping. I've yeah. been so good, You've Nathan. been a very good boy. We're almost been a, such a good boy. You're almost to the end. Santa's coming any day now. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just want I just want Santa to come. Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> this is a family podcast. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> the amount of asshole talk that comes from that chair? Everybody poops, Marlon. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know where that poop comes from? You've, corn dogs. An anus. <laughs> oh, yes. Also an anus. <laughs> Open anus. <laughs> Big open anus. Don't say open anus. anus. <laughs> ah, man. Say it fast enough, it's like one word. Open anus. <laughs> open <laughs> anus. <laughs> the same when you're throwing something over a fence. <laughs> you're swinging it with a buddy. A one and a two and an open, open anus. anus. <laughs> it's like up and at him. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you burst into one of your roommates' room first thing in the morning and said, open anus, well, they would not know well, how to take it. One of them might present. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the other one has a gun. <laughs> so maybe don't do that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. All right. Well, buddy, we'll do this again next week. It's good to see you. Yeah, in the room or in the dojo. Yeah, we were supposed to do comedy and didn't, so we made a fucking podcast. We fucking did it. We weren't in the back of a bar like we were last week yeah. trying to recap episodes <laughs> while the people yearned for our jokes. Yeah, he literally could hear them through the wall, mm-hmm. which is good. Yeah. You know what you don't want? Stone silence. Yep, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, shows went real well last I week. I think so. We had a good time, you, me, sure and Josh. Did. Went to Canada. We did. We went to Canada. Yeah. Just to say we did. Yeah. <laughs> but they they couldn't stop us. I mean, I, they could have. They just they <laughs> their own apathy stopped them. Yes. That was, they could have stopped me. I had the wrong ID. That guy had a fantasy hockey roster that needed setting. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hot tip: If you try to get into Canada, the real ID isn't the same as the enhanced yeah, ID. That's, enhanced. that's what I learned staring at a very swarthy canadian yeah. man <laughs> asking you questions quickly in a monotone voice you didn't get shook i i was so like on edge i yeah. was like please i want to go to canada <laughs> i want to have tim horton donuts so bad <laughs> and french fries and gravy and food please, cheese, I just want food cheese. Oh. it was all food based yeah <laughs> but yeah he rattled off like what city were you born in? What what city was your dad born in? What city was your mom born Who's in? Who's your favorite uncle? Who's your least favorite uncle? <laughs> <laughs> I told him too. Reggie, Reggie, what he's drinking? <laughs> 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 a lot of layers of the Reggie onion. You may proceed. <laughs> Greg, racist Greg. <laughs> Too many Gregs. <laughs> Some of seven uncles named Greg. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I thought I thought the real ID got you into Canada. Apparently, uh, fucking doesn't. Uh, but a a nice Canadian man yeah. was like, these boys need their donuts. Clearly, <laughs> is that they hunger. I'm not gonna get in the way <laughs> of their donut hunger. <laughs> I had birthday cake uh, tin bits. They were very good. You did. Tim Horton's yeah, fucking good at yeah. a donut. Got a quick coffee. Very prompt. Yes, very. Maybe they don't fuck around with the super... No, they had some silly shit on the menu. Yeah, yeah. But they still got us through quick. What'd you have? You had some manner of donut? Yeah, just like the the Tim Hortons, the old 89er or something like that. Just their basic <laughs> bitch basic maple. B, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's perfectly fine. That was good. Those birthday cake tidbits were very uh, The donut, very small for American standards. That's why they're very small compared to American standards with their bodies. Yes. <laughs> like, and that lady's only got two tits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's your back titties, loser? Yeah. <laughs> Bullying her. Where I'm from, we got like six to 12 tits. <laughs> How come yeah. you don't look like you just had a litter of pups? <laughs> I got tits under my butt cheeks. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. <laughs> what a thing to say condescendingly. <laughs> <laughs> to say as a slam to yeah. somebody who doesn't. Real cute. <laughs> Shouting that at a jogger. I got tits better than that under my ass cheeks. What? <laughs> It happens. <laughs> I don't think it should. Shoving that donut down your fucking <laughs> mouth. <laughs> so maply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the tidbits were very good. I liked those a lot. And order is like four of them. That's yeah. how you know you're not in America. Yeah. You yeah. have four donut holes in yeah. order. <laughs> Instead of 27. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 19 and 20 for next week. Uh, we will uh, see you then. Bye, everybody.